If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every live break spot you purchase will earn you signature club points if you are enrolled, which you can exchange for exciting UA prizes and store credit. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified, authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm Common, Mike producing remotely, but we have an incredible show for you guys tonight. So much fire in this break room here at Ultimate Autographs. A lot of good stuff, including Joe Montana in the jerseys, Dan Marino and the loaded dice full-size helmets. A lot of good stuff. What else? What else do we have in here, you might ask? We've got baseballs. We've got Jerry Rice in the America's Team replica helmets. We've got Randy Moss in the minis. Two pre-fills in the minis. A loaded dice, full-size, authentic. Two reps as well. we got a triple box break coming up there. we got too many breaks and America's Team replica helmets. It's going to be an awesome night. Uh, how's it going, Mike? How's it going, everyone else? Uh, let's get it. Let's rock. Let's roll. We are going to have an incredible time tonight. All right, let's get started with the randomizer. We need six or higher on the dice roll. How about my favorite number, eight? Eight. If that's not a good sign, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Uh, Mike is sick. Mike is sick. That's why he's producing at home. Uh, Mike, I hope you're feeling better, man. But thank you very much uh, for all the producing work you're doing. Uh, let's see what we're going to chase today. Chase item of the day. Uh, we'll be entered in for a wheel spin. Our chase tonight is the Funkos. Just five Funko Pops left. Five left. Uh, we can close those out tonight if you guys would like to. Funkos. Ex excellent. Yeah, let's get some Funkos going. Mike is the biggest Funko Pop fan I know. Uh, he loves, loves those Funkos. All right. Well, hey, let's get going with the breaks. Uh, we have a decent amount of breaks filled up before the show. Four of them, as I said. So we're going to have a lot of fun in the break room tonight. 
America's team is filled up, but first it's the loaded dice, full size helmets, triple box break. We got one authentic and two replicas coming out of here. Uh, we got Marcus Adele. We got Tom Barda, new customer Tom. Welcome to the break room, man. Let me know what team you like. Uh, Nathan Hoover, how's it going, dude? Uh, Warriors got to get it going after that disappointing night last night. Uh, we got Mike Tedesco. Mike, welcome to the break room. Uh, not a name I recognize. Uh, Larry Rosland, that's a name we recognize. Larry's a regular here. And Stephen Hill, one of the new guys as of Sunday. Uh, Stephen's having fun in the break room. Uh, he's been back the last few nights. Uh, loaded dice, full-size helmets. Uh, so here's the lowdown on the loaded dice, guys. Uh, we have 15 crates in the loaded dice. Uh, all crates are on the ticker. Uh, however, only some of them are in the room. Uh, so not enough room for all of them. There's three helmets in each crate. If you guys call out a crate that's not in the room, I'll go in the back and get it. But every single box in the loaded dice, full-size helmets is in the room. So you can call out the box that has Dan Marino. You can call out the box that has Dak Prescott, uh, Jerry Rice. There's no hiding, guys. 15 crates only in that series. 15 box numbers. We've already done a couple, 4 and 12. Everything else is available. Uh, so if you are in that break, drop me a box number. I want to get started with the breaks because we have so much stuff to do tonight. It's going to be a fun show. So I'm going to let the randomizer pick. If you guys want to buzzer beat me on a box... Uh, you are more than welcome to. Uh, so I'm getting the randomizer set up, guys. If you want to buzzer beat me, any box left is yours. Uh, how is everyone in the chat doing? A lot of you guys are here. Uh, glad to have you in here. Let me know how you guys are doing. All right, so our dice roller is eight. I'm going to go eight clicks. Uh, top crate after eight is the one that I'm going to do it. Uh, what did everyone have for dinner, asks Mike. 617 here, Mitch Tutin, uh, Boston's greatest. Six, seven, one more click. Eighth and final click on the randomizer. Crate 10, crate 10. Uh, so 10 is in the other room. Uh, the first six are in the room here, except for four, which we did. Uh, if you guys want to get any one of the first six, uh, you guys have about 10 seconds. Otherwise, I'm going to get 10. I'm going to hop in the other room, guys. Uh, all the boxes are out there in the loaded dice full-size helmets. Uh, so, uh, like I said, can't fit them all in the room. So I'm going to go get 10 uh, from the other room real quick, unless you guys want a 1, 2, 5, or 6. Good evening, Jason Amer. Go Sixers indeed. I bet Sixers minus 2.5 tonight, Jason. Uh, that was my bet. All right, haven't heard anything on a box number. I'm going to get 10 from the other room. Uh, so I'll be quick, guys. I will be very quick. Uh, 10 is in the other room. All right, let's get 10, 10, 10. I'm back. Back with 10. Oh, helmets here. Loaded dice, full size helmets. Great 10. Here we go. Steven, I did jinx the Celtics. Or someone did. Uh, Giannis is too good, man. Giannis is too good. He's the man. All right. Crate 10. It's picked by the randomizer. Thank you, Ken, for the fill on Funko's number one, says Mike. 
Heading to the randomizer. We're going to go eight times for your divisions, guys. Break 10. Drew Holiday, too. Unbelievable defense last night. All right. Eight times on the randomizer. Eight times for your divisions. I can make it up to you right now, says Stephen Hill. We'll see, Stephen. We shall see. All right, here we go. We've got, let's see. We got Steven in the NFC North. We got Mike in the NFC South. We have Steven in the NFC East. Steven could be Dak Prescott. Larry in the NFC West. Larry could be Jerry Rice. Uh, we got Marcus in the AFC North and AFC South. We got Tom in the AFC East. Tom, a new customer, could be Dan Marino. And then Steven, you are out there in the AFC West as well. A loaded dice, full-size helmets. It's a triple box break. Uh, we got two replicas and one authentic. Uh, the authentic is in crate or box two in the crate. So I'm going to go the two reps first. Save the best authentic for last. All right, here we go. Ken Morawski. Ken had a dub the other day. Ooh, this is pretty good. This is pretty, pretty good. We go. Oh, I think this is an amp helmet, too. It's a replica, but I think this is an amp, guys. We got a 49ers amp. Nick Bosa, third year defensive end for the Niners. Three years, three great years. 2019 Pro Bowler, 2019 Defensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, 2021, by the way, was his best year this last season, a pro bowler, and had a career-high 11 and a half sacks, which was the fourth most in the National Football League, second overall pick out of Ohio State. It's an amp. It is sick. An awesome amp replica. That is Nick Bosa. That is the NFC West. That is Larry Rossler. How about it, Larry? Nick Bosa, one of the best. Pass rushers in the league. You also get him uh, signing uh, the helmet there. It is a Beckett certified, of course, on the Beckett cert right there. You also have it in the back of the helmet. Uh, this is beautiful. John Plazola, 49ers Nation. He loves it. Giving the fire emojis. Uh, Jason Amer saying, wow, that's an awesome rep. Mike is saying, amp souk. Very nice. Larry! Uh, Larry had a dub in the early show, I think. Larry getting a bunch of dubs right now. Nick Bosa. All right, Larry. Very nice. Very, very nice. An amp replica. Wow. Sick. Absolutely sick, guys. That is a great start to the show. A uh, load of dice series is pretty good uh let's fill out another one for sure all right so you didn't get the jerry rice but you got yourself a nick bosa amp replica a larry rosslin all right so the second one is the authentic so i'm going to skip ahead to the third one uh so i'm going to go with Another rep here. This will be a rep. The authentic is going to be uh, the next one. Way there on loaded dice number two. Thank you very much, Mike. Larry likes it. He says, nice. It is pretty nice, Larry. It is very nice, man. Ooh. Now, this, this, is, this is pretty cool. Uh, I believe this is a flash. We got Jeff Garcia. It's not Garcia on the Niners, though. It's Jeff Garcia on the Buccaneers. Mr. Garcia, four-time Pro Bowl quarterback, uh, 4, 000, more than 4,000 pass yards in 2000, a former uh, you know, Grey Cup MVP, played in the CFL before the NFL, uh, but showed up a big, big time in the CFL. Led himself to an NFL career, had some of his best seasons 
with the 49ers. Uh, but this is Jeff Garcia on the Bucks replica flash. So that is the NFC South. And that is Mike Tedesco. How about it, Mike? Congratulations on Jeff Garcia flash, baby. Sick. Uh, this is also Beckett certified. You see the Beckett sticker in the back. A lot of fire coming out of the loaded dice tonight. That is a sick looking helmet. Got yourself a quarterback, four time Pro Bowler, Jeff Garcia. Flash helmets are so sexy, Jason Amor. I could definitely agree. Uh, Mike is saying, not bad, cool looking lid. All right, Mike. I'm glad uh, you are happy with your Jeff Garcia. It's funny because you think Jeff Garcia red helmet, you think it'll be a Niner, but this is a Bucks flash helmet. The Bucks have some of the best uh, flashes in the biz. Garcia. Very, very nice. So if you guys thought those two loaded dice hits were good, uh, the authentic headliners coming up next. So about half the headliners are photoed. We have some sick hidden headliners as well. So headliners like Dan Marino, Jerry Rice, big names. Uh, some hidden headliners as well in this series. All right. Jeff Garcia. Going home to Mike. This is heavy. This is the authentic, guys. Now, this is the authentic. I think the randomizer chose a pretty good uh, box, if you ask me. Mike loves all flash stuff. You and I both, Mike. Flashes are the best helmets in the biz, except for maybe speed flexes. Speed flexes are pretty good, too. Lunars are sexy as F as well. I agree. I agree. Here we go. What is our headliner hit? Ooh. This is one of my all-time favorite players. Former Defensive Player of the Year. Took the Bears to the Super Bowl. They couldn't quite win. Uh, but one of the best tackle machines in the NFL. He can also get picks. He can get sacks. What couldn't he do? Brian Erlacher, one of the best linebackers in the NFL. Full-sized, authentic Erlacher. Hidden headliner. Uh, that is Stephen Hill. Stephen's got the NFC North. Uh, Stephen, you are getting the authentic. Uh, as a Bears fan, one of my favorite players, Brian Erlacher. Uh, Mike is at home, not in studio, but if Mike was here, uh, Mike would tell you he's a deep boy, defensive player of the year for the Bears. Uh, made it made his way on the Madden cover at one point as well. So uh, maybe behind Ray Lewis, uh, the best linebacker I grew up watching. I know, uh, obviously, Lawrence Taylor, but I didn't watch Lawrence Taylor personally. Man, he was a monster. Brian Erlacher. Bob's saying, Stephen, you get free hair plugs with that Erlacher. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we are based out of the Chicagoland area, guys. If you go on the highway, Mike can attest to this. There is Brian Erlacher hair billboards all over the highway. I-55, it is all about Brian Erlacher. Stephen Hill gets the authentic. Very nice, Stephen. Brian Erlacher. Wow. That was a pretty good crate, if you ask me. Pretty good crate. And it didn't even include one of the photoed headliners. Erlacher, of course, a hidden headliner. Uh, but that's pretty good, man. Brian Erlacher. So we had a Nick Bosa amp. We had a Jeff Garcia flash. And then a standard authentic Erlacher. All right. Nice, says Mitchell 2 team. Mitch, he was great, man. Great player, Brian Erlacher. Him and Lance Friggs on that Bears linebacking core. They were great. Where's the box? Here it is. Let me put this bad boy in.
All right. So that was kind of cool because we had three different winners. Uh, you can win three helmets with one spot, or we can have uh, three separate winners, as uh, we just witnessed. Uh, up next, America's Team Replica Helmets. Uh, we got Dwayne Robbie in here. Marcus Adele, Brian Stowe. Brian got his first win ever in the break room uh, during the happy hour. We got Dominic Beluso, won that Ricky Williams in the happy hour for his Dolphins. We got Mitchell, 617, Boston, two teen in here. Michael Sinska, another Dolphins fan, one of Dom's buddies. Larry Rosslin, who just won. And the one, the only, Bob Boulay, America's team, replica helmets. Uh, drop us a box number, uh, gentlemen. I was going to say ladies and gentlemen, but I think it's all men in this one. All men. Let me get 10 off the ticker for the loaded dice. 10 is off the ticker. All right. Hair lacquer, Mike says. Indeed. Hair lacquer. Uh, 36, says Dom. I don't see 36 on there, Dom. Looks like we have... Uh, 25, 26, 29, 30, and 31. Oh, you missed a lot, Don Veluso. We pulled a Brian Erlacher authentic out of the loaded dice. We pulled a Nick Bosa amp replica helmet and a Jeff Garcia flash. Uh, Dom going with 31. Larry, Dom beat you by four one hundredths of a second. 3 1 is going off the ticker. Thank you very much, Dom. Mitchell Tutin had 25. All right, 31 was first, though. We go with whoever calls it first. Uh, that was Dom. So we're going to head to the randomizer. We'll get you guys your divisions. So you see. I uh, didn't do the mini yet. The mini is next, Sean. Uh, the first mini is the next break after this. Next break after this. Some fire coming out of the loaded dice, though, to start the program. Six seven and eight all right let's see what we got here bob boulay should be up top mitchell two teams should be at the bottom uh, we've got bob in the nfc north we got brian stowe new guy in the nfc south we got michael osinska nfc east michael you can get that darius slay with that one dominic beluso dom you can get yourself a Jerry Rice Eclipse replica helmet with the NFC West. Uh, AFC North is Marcus Adele. AFC South, Larry Rossland. AFC East, Dwayne Robbie. And finally, Mitchell Tutin in the AFC West. Our two closest breaks right now are four left and loaded dice number two and five left in jackpot number one. Thank you, Mike. Don Veluso, what'd you eat for dinner, says Elizabeth Veluso. All right, we'll see. I'm going to move a couple of these boxes now so I don't get boxed in. 31. 31. Thank you very much, Dom. We're calling out the box number. 31. A lot of folks in this break are specifically hot. Uh, we've had Larry won earlier, Dom won in the happy hour show. A lot of hot men in the break room. I bought five spots today. How do you know what jersey spot you got? Uh, Steven, you got to select the Kansas Comet jersey with your sixth order. So I'll take a look at that here in a second, Steven. Uh, but let me get through this America's Team rep helmet break first. All right, here we go. First replica helmet break. I want to see that Jerry Rice. That would be really cool. Oh, my God. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is, oh, baby. This is sick. It's not the Rice, but it might be the next best helmet. How about a shut chrome helmet of Darius Slay? Hail State, baby! Hail State! Mississippi State! 
a four-time Pro Bowl corner in the NFL, co-leader for interceptions in 2017. Uh, this is a beautiful looking shot. College Chrome Helmet. Woo -hoo -hoo! Jason Amer. I hope you're watching, man. Hail State. This is sick. That is sick. And Michael Osinska, you did win. Michael Osinska. So Darius Slay is the current Eagles star corner. Michael Osinska, NFC East. Got yourself a headliner hit. One of the best corners in the NFL on one of the sickest looking helmets I've honestly ever, ever seen. Unbelievable. Holy moly. I could show this bad boy off all night. This is sick. This is sick. Michael Osinska, you the man, dude. NFC East. And Dom, you got him the box number, man. Holy moly. Well, there it is. Helmet I probably spent $500 chasing, says Jason Amer. It was Michael Osinska with the win. Very nice, Mike. Uh, guys, definitely shoot him a message and let him know. Incredible. Incredible. So much fire in the room tonight. It's a night for specialty helmets. Chromes, flashes, and amps all over the break room. Man, Darius, slay. Slay him, boys. Slay him. This is probably the coolest looking helmet in that series. Uh, the Jerry Rice might be better because it's Jerry Rice, but this is as good as it gets uh, as far as good looking helmets. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. What a loss again, says Mitchell 15. You'll get the next one, Mitch. Uh, three left and loaded dice number two. Thank you, Mike, for that update. Uh, speaking of specialty helmets, uh, all the minis are extra special. Our next mini break, uh, every mini in this break is either a lunar, an eclipse, or a flash. So no standard minis. They're all special. We got Marcus. We got Mike. We got Michael, who just won. We got Larry. We got Sean Alcarez. Dominic Veluso, the expert box picker, and Don Garrick, big Steelers fan, coming in with the clothes. Uh, drop me a box number, guys. Extra special minis. And actually, we have the second one coming up after this. So we have two minis on track coming up next. And actually, it's not 16 through 40. Let me update that. Stickers being funky. It's 16, 17, 18, and 19. Are in the room here. Thought I updated that. 16, 17, 18, and 19. Larry going with 18. All right, 18 is going off the ticker. Thank you very much, Larry. Uh, good stuff, says Steven. It is good stuff. A lot of good stuff in the break room, guys. A lot of good stuff. Uh, Larry is a big Broncos fan. Maybe going 18 for Peyton Manning, Larry? That'd be cool. It's not going to be Peyton Manning unless that's a, you know, a hidden headliner of hidden headliners. Uh, but maybe it brings you good mojo. Box 18. Right up top here, right next to 19. Uh, when you guys see our minis with the wood crates, uh, that means that they're special minis. Something a little bit extra cool about those. Uh, the wood crate minis. All right. Take you guys into your divisions. Uh, so when I bought the five spots earlier, I didn't know I had to select the sixth for the jersey spot. Uh, Steven, sorry about that, man. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's something that our system programs that We can't really uh, help you out on that. It's like a system-wide thing. Uh, but next time you do that, if you buy six more spots tonight, uh, make sure you select the Kansas Comet jerseys with your sixth spot, and then you'll get a free jersey entry into the Kansas Comet jerseys. I 
can't fix that on my end, unfortunately. Uh, so, but if you do that again, you'll definitely get in on that promotion. So the first five things can be anything. The sixth one, you must select it yourself. I don't think I can do anything on my end, personally. Five, six, seven, and eight. I don't know if, what else we can do on that. All right. Nothing can be done on our end that is the terms of the promotion, says Mike. Uh, so Mike is producing back home. You guys ever have any questions about the promotions? Uh, be sure to ask us. We'll let you know. All right. So we got Marcus Adele in the NFC North. We got Sean Alcaraz in the AFC West, top and bottom. Michael Osinska, you've got the NFC South. Mike Tedesco won earlier today, NFC East. Uh, then we got Don Veluso, NFC West. We got Larry, AFC North. We got Don, AFC South. We got Marcus, AFC East. And Sean Alcaraz out there in the AFC West. Extra special minis. Extra special minis. Oh, baby. All right. So, uh, Dom, look out, Dom Beluso. Michael Olsinska, Sean Alcarez. Here he is again. Here he is again. Ricky Williams on the mini eclipse. Uh, Ricky Williams, former Heisman Trophy winner at Texas. Uh, one of the best running backs in the NFL. More than 10,000 career rushing yards. Did it with the Saints, did it with the Dolphins, led the league in rushing in 2002. Uh, this is Ricky on the Dolphins. Uh, that is on the Eclipse. That is the AFC East. Marcus Adele. Congratulations, Marcus. Taking home Ricky Williams. Very nice. Marcus, let's go. Very, very nice. Marcus. This might be Marcus's first win in the break room. At least the first win that I've gotten for him. Ricky Williams. Very, very nice. Beautiful white signature on that Eclipse Mini. Uh, Ricky Williams was one of the five greatest college running backs ever. Uh, also very good in the NFL. You know, very few guys get more than 10,000 career rush yards. Very nice. Marcus won last night, too, says Mike. Okay, so Marcus, maybe last night was your first win. I was playing rec volleyball. I missed it. Uh, but congratulations on what is your second win. Uh, extra special minis number two. We got Brian Stowe, Tyler Auten, Sean Plazola, and Dwayne Robbie. Let me know on a box number, guys. Box number, extra special minis number two. And uh, then we have, let's see, we have the Funko Pops after that. So we got a couple breaks coming up. We're only two away on loaded dice number two. Uh, so I make this a known. I know we're talking about it earlier. It is Thirsty Thursday. If you select five break spots, it could be five spots in the five different things, or it could be five spots into the loaded dice helmets, five spots into the jackpot. Your sixth spot, you yourself must select the Kansas Comet jersey. Then that Kansas Comet jersey will be free. Uh, 14 from Sean Plazola. Thank you very much, Sean. 1-4. Sean is a big Niners fan. Sean, what's your favorite Niners piece of memorabilia, man? Let me know. Let's get it, says Jason Amer. Let's go, Jason. Where are you, man? Jason's not in this break, but he wants to see some fire. Wants to see some fire. One left in loaded dice number two. Let's go. Six, seven, and eight times for your divisions, as is the dice roller. Take the randomizer down. 
throw you guys in. We got Sean Plazola, NFC North. We got NFC South, Brian Stowe. We got Tyler Otten, NFC East. Wayne Robbie, NFC West. Sean Plazola, AFC North. Kind of funny. Wayne's a Bengals fan. Sean's a Niners fan. Uh, they kind of flip-flop the divisions they like. And then, Brian, you have the rest of the AFC. So, Brian, you have everything but the AFC North. This is Brendan, Jason's son. All right, Brendan. Awesome. Good to know. Your dad is uh, great in the break room. Uh, the catch. That was uh, the catch, the great famous play uh, for the Niners. I like that. The catch. All right, special minis number two. What's up? What's up? Then, what's up? I know Jason Amer Jr. is a great hockey player. They didn't know much about Brendan yet, but we'll know. We'll know. One four. One four. Fourteen for the legendary Cub Ernie Banks. Uh, or if you're a soccer fan like myself, uh, the great Thierry Henry. Full on loaded dice number two. Let's get it. Build up. All right. So let's see. Sean Plazola with the NFC North. You can win the Randy Moss. Uh, AFC North, Sean, you can win the Ray Lewis. Oh, uh, I think NFC East could be the Jason Witten, Tyler Auten. A lot of good headliners in the extra special minis, guys. A lot of good headliners. All right. Box 14. So this will either be a lunar, an eclipse, or a flash mini, guys. Uh, no standard minis here. Oh, this is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. How about another banger of a hit? We got the NFL's all-time leading rusher by a quarterback. Number one all-time in career yards per carry. Uh, the great Michael Vick. That is the NFC East. Tyler had one spot in there. All it takes is one to win. Michael Vick, NFL Comeback Player of the Year with the Eagles. Came back from prison, and he came back a good passing quarterback. Vick was mostly just a runner on the Falcons, but with the Eagles, he could run it, he can pass it. Tyler Auten taking home Michael Vick. Let's go, says Tyler. Uh, JSA certified on that Michael Vick, Tyler. Congratulations. A single spot snipe out there in the NFC East. Very nice. We got Michael Vick on the Falcons, and we have Michael Vick on the Eagles here. We have him on both of those teams. I have a jersey, football, and full-size helmet signed by both Dwight Clark and Joe Cool. So it was Joe Montana tossing the game-winning touchdown to Dwight Clark in the back of the end zone. Clark added the schematic of the play on all three items. That sounds really cool, Bob. Uh, that sounds like a great piece of memorabilia to catch. Tyler, congrats on your Michael Vick hit. Very, very nice, man. Uh, not a headliner, but, I mean, that tells you this series, if Michael Vick's not good enough to be headliner, what's out there in the extra special minis? What is out there? Ricky Williams, Michael Vick? Not good enough to be headliners. That should tell you enough, guys. All right, Funko Pop number one is next. Funko Pop number one. We got Tyler Harrington. You demand, TJ. We got James Stanhope and Ken Morawski. Ken is also the man, as is James. Thank you very much, guys, uh, for closing out that break. We're going to have a wheel spin tonight. Uh, that is good news. Uh, Tyler, James, or Ken, let me know on a Funko number. And we got Loaded Dice number two coming up next. And let's fill up the Kansas Comet. Thirsty Thursday, guys. Buy five break spots. Your sixth break spot, if you select the Kansas Comet jerseys, is free. Funko number one. And barely can catch my breath. A lot of stuff going down in the break room tonight. A lot of folks ordering. It is a busy night tonight. Busy. Busy night in the break room. I'm going to give you guys about a minute here on the Funko box number. Otherwise, I'll let the randomizer pick. Uh, taking a look at the break page, we are six away on the next extra special mini. 
We're six away on the Kansas Comet jerseys, five away on the unloaded dice baseballs, five away on the jackpot. We have yet to pull a jackpot. Uh, the jackpot series contains, I believe, six of the 50 boxes contain an item that has multiple items in it. I know some of them have six. I've been told that one is 12 as well. So you can get extra memorabilia in the jackpot, as the title might suggest. All right. Uh, Ken, if you're out there, I know I thought he was out there earlier. Uh, Tyler, if you're out there, or James Stanhope. Uh, last call on the box number for the Funkos. Otherwise, I'll let the randomizer pick. A uh, 15. All right, Ken. Thank you very much, Ken. A uh, 1 5. Haven't done a Funko break in a while, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Thank you, Ken. 15 for the GOAT, Patrick Mahomes. Patty Mahomes, baby. 1 5. All right, all of our Funkos guys are autographed. All Funkos are autographed. 15 is called out by Ken. Bob saying Philadelphia star Bryce Harper, eliminated to designator hitter duty of late, has a small tear in his right. UCL will get an RPR injection, will not throw a baseball for four weeks. Manager Joe Drowdy told reporters Thursday a complete tear would result in Tommy John surgery. Okay, well, all the best to Bryce Harper. Hopefully, uh, he heals up. Uh, we're going to go into the randomizer uh, to figure out what number you guys get. We're going to random you guys eight times uh, for your number. It's a numbered break. I'll explain that in a second here. Let me throw you guys in first. So we're going to go eight times here on the randomizer. And put you into your numbered slots. Six, seven, and eight. All right. So Ken should be up top. He should be zero. Uh, Tyler should be at the bottom. He should be nine. Uh, so that is, in fact, what we have. Uh, so Ken, if the Funko is, say, number 20 or number 30 or number 40, it is the second digit on the right or the third digit, if it's three numbers. Whatever the last digit on the Funko is, uh, that is who has taken it home. So say it's 43. James Stanhope would win because he has three. Uh, so that is how the Funkos work. Uh, good luck, guys. Just four Funko Pops left now. Uh, definitely happy to close out uh, the rest of the Funkos. All right, here we go. One five. Box 15. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here, Mike. Mike is a huge Funko Pop guy. Oh, baby. It's one of the great basketball players. Let me face him the right way. We got Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp was a six-time All-Star with the Seattle Supersonics. They no longer play in Seattle. Uh, they became the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, Kemp played in the 1996 Finals against my Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan. Sean Kemp and Gary Payton knocked off two games off the Bulls, but couldn't get enough. Uh, that is Sean Kemp. Uh, that is number 79 on the Funko. So nine is the second number. That is Tyler Harrington taking home Sean Kemp. Kemp was one of those big men that can really throw down the basketball with the dunks. Uh, Steven pulled his buddy Gary Payton last night on the Funko. So there you go. Sonics legends, Gary Payton, and now Sean Kemp. And it was Payton to Kemp, point guard to power forward, dynamic duo that took the uh, Supersonics of the 96 finals. Unfortunately, they went up against arguably the greatest team of all time, uh, the 96 Bulls. And the Bulls were 72 and 10. Uh, give credit to the Sonics for winning two games against the Bulls. And of course, he's got that lime green signature. Uh, so obviously, Seattle's got the green colors. I uh, got the green auto on uh, the Sean Kemp Funko. How about it? Sean Kemp. Tyler, if you're watching, congratulations, man, on your Sean Kemp Funko. 
Get this bad boy back in here. And we're moving on to Loaded Dice. Kemp has seven children with six different women. He gave each of kids a Funko of their father. I believe it, Mike. I don't know if you're being serious, but that sounds like something he would have done. Congratulations, Tyler. Loaded dice number two. I, I figured you were kidding, Mike. I figured you were kidding. Uh, we got Marcus Adele up in here. We got Jason Amer. We got Brian Stowe. We got Larry Rosslyn. We got Tom Barda, Mike Tedesco, and Austin Caldwell. Uh, drop me a box number, guys. Bob said me. Said that not me, Mike. I saw the Twitch. It was Bob saying it. But you and Bob have the same sense of humor, so I would believe it. Uh, that's funny. I called the glove last night, says Ken Morawski. The glove. Gary Payton, one of the best nicknames in sports. Uh, Larry coming through with seven on the loaded dice. Thank you very much, Larry. Seven is going off the ticker. Uh, we will do that next. Uh, let me get you guys set up for your divisions first. Mike says, I'll take the fall. I saw the Twitch next to you guys, and I don't know why I thought it was you, Mike. You and Bob, though, have a similar sense of humor, so that's probably why I, I thought it was you saying that. <laughs> All right, we're going to go eight times for your divisions, guys. Eight times on your divisions. Six, seven, one more click, eight times. Brian should be up top with the NFC North. We should have Larry at the bottom with the AFC West, which could be... The Terrell Davis, Larry, could be Terrell Davis, man. Big Bronco fan, Larry Rossland. Uh, Brian, like I said, you've got the NFC North. Uh, we got Tom in the NFC South. Jason Amer, NFC East. Jason could be the Dak Prescott. Uh, Marcus Adele, NFC West, could be the Jerry Rice. We got Austin Caldwell, AFC North. We got Mike Tedesco, AFC South. Marcus Adele, AFC East, could be the Dan Marino, Marcus, and Larry Rossland out there in the AFC West. Awesome. Loaded dice, number seven. That might be in the back, guys. I think six is the last one in the room, so I'll be right back, and I'll get seven from the back. Let me make sure. Let's see. Two, five, six, one, three. Seven's in the back. Let me get that real fast. Thank you very much, Larry, for calling it out. The loaded dice, baby. Mike was hoping for the AFC North. Mike, are you a Steelers fan? What's your team, Mike? Mike, our Mike, our producer Mike, saying... Let's keep the orders coming in, folks. This is our last full break right now. Five left in jackpot number one, and five left in minis are our closest breaks, okay? Break seven is called out by Larry. So three is the replica. Ooh. Okay, so these were packed differently, guys. Normally, the authentic is in the second one. The authentic is the first one. You might ask how I know that. The replicas aren't as heavy as the authentics. I'm used to handling the boxes. I can pretty much tell uh, what's a replica and what's an authentic uh, by the feel of the box. So we're going to start with the replicas first. A uh, box seven there, Larry. I'm sure you can see the seven right there, crate seven. 
Loaded dice, full size helmets. Here we go. Some more fire in the loaded dice. Let's see some more fire, baby. We've only pulled one headliner, the Marvin Harrison, in this series, by the way. Woo! Okay, I've got a little historic player uh, to start the party on the rep helmet. A lot of Cowboy fans in the room. Uh, you guys will know this guy, Randy White. Hall of Fame 94, Randy White on the Lunar Replica. Uh, he is a former Super Bowl champ and Super Bowl MVP, a nine-time Pro Bowler, seven-time first-team All-Pro, college and pro football Hall of Famer, Randy White, NFC East. Uh, that is Jason Amer. Jason hoping for an Eagles hit, I'm sure. Uh, but Jason, I'm sure a dub will do. One spot in there for Jason. Randy White, JSA certified. Excellent hit, man. Congratulations on Randy, former defensive lineman, linebacker types. One of the best uh, defensive players of all time, Randy White. Jason Amer, another dub, Jason. Another dub, man. I hate the Cowboys, but a cool helmet, says Stephen Hill. Stephen, I feel like people either love the Cowboys or hate the Cowboys. There's rarely a middle ground. I'm probably one of the few in the middle. I don't really hate them. I don't love them. But I feel like most either hate them or love them. So I'm playing college when I was at Syracuse. Went to Maryland. Fear the Turtles, says Bob Boulay. Scott Van Pelt would agree. Congrats, Jason, on the Randy White rep. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. I would agree with that, says Stephen. That's right. Stephen, we have a lot of Cowboys fans in our room, and we also have a lot of people who hate the Cowboys. So, you know, I'm speaking from uh, just the feel of our break room alone. I was in a band once, says Mike. People either loved us or they hated us, or they thought we were okay. I guess it's one of those, Mike. One of those. All right, Randy White. Steven, we do have Eagles fans. Uh, Jason Amer is a huge Eagles fan. All right, we're going to go with another rep second. We have other Eagles fans, too. Like Eric Germani, I know I've seen, is an Eagles fan. A lot of Eagle fans in our break room. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mike played the tuba in a heavy metal band, says Bob. Okay. Tuba Mike. Come on, where are you, sir? Oh, I know this guy. Oh, uh, this is the Kansas City Chiefs all-time leading tackler. Great Chief linebacker. Four-time Pro Bowler, as you see on the helmet, uh, that is Derek Johnson, a former Texas star, former Dick Buckus Award winner in college, a very good chief player, Derek Johnson. AFC West, Larry Rossland. Very nice. Uh, Mike saying, Steven, I used to babysit for Eagles kicker Jake Elliott. He is friends with my cousin and grew up right down the street from our break studio. He was a beast talking about Elliot, says uh, Mr. Hill. I will tell you that Derek Johnson was a beast as well. Uh, Jason, what did you want? Win. Uh, Jason won the Randy White helmet. A uh, Randy White replica lunar for the Cowboys. Dom. Larry Rosslyn taking home a Derek Johnson. All right, Larry. Another dub for Larry. All he does is win. Eric Johnson. Probably a little bit underrated hit in the break room. 
Uh, DJ is a guy that was a fantastic player. I saw him growing up. He was tough to stop. Tackle machine. All right. So those are the two reps. We got the authentic coming up. Uh, guys, we've done, I think, what, four crates now? We have, I believe, ten more to go. Only one headliner pulled. So a lot of headliners should be coming. A lot of headliners should be coming. Four left in the minis. Thank you very much, Mike. Let's close up the minis next. This is the authentic, guys. Save the best for last. We still got Jerry Rice out there. We've got Dan Marino out there. Dak Prescott. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, not a headliner. It's a hidden headliner. We got all pro cornerback, one of the best corners in the game, on the Lunar, Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey, absolute beast. Uh, that is the NFC West. Marcus Adao, Jalen Ramsey, authentic Lunar. Uh, Super Bowl champion Jalen Ramsey, that is. A big part of the reason why the Rams just won the Super Bowl. Uh, Ramsey's made the last five Pro Bowls. Three-time first-team All-Pro, including the last two years. Nice hit. Ramsey is a monster. Jalen Ramsey. Nice pull, says Stephen Hill. Look at this bad boy. Woo Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey, that is. Very, very nice. Congratulations, Marcus. Marcus Adele taking home the Jalen Ramsey. Full-size authentic. Very nice. Nice pool indeed, Steven. I agree. I definitely agree. I'm sure Marcus has to agree, right, Marcus? Marcus is one of those no-watch mojo guys. I haven't seen Marcus in the room yet. Uh, but I'm sure wherever he's watching, uh, he is a happy camper. Trade to an Antonio Gates authentic. I've got two. Steven, I pulled both of them for you. I think it was, was it Monday night? Uh, you closed out the primetime authentics. Uh, then you also won Gates in, in this series, the Loaded Dice. Uh, Marcus taking home Jalen Ramsey. All right. Congratulations, Marcus. All right, that catches us up. Uh, let me do a little look at the loaded dice. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 crates left. Is that right? We did 7 tonight, and we did 10 tonight. So uh, we should have... I did you well. I did, Steven. It's a new customer mojo, man. It's it's beginner's luck. It's definitely a real thing. And I do, I do pull a lot of fire for everyone, though. Uh, but glad we can get you started the right way. So I believe this is correct. We have we've done four loaded dice. Uh, we have eleven to go, and we have, I believe, six headliners left. We pulled the Marvin Harrison, so greater than fifty percent chance to hit a pictured headliner. Six of the eleven remaining crates. Include headliners like Dan Marino, the original greatest passing quarterback of all time. I had all the records when he retired. Played in a non-passing era at that. Uh, we've got Dak Prescott, the young, talented uh, Cowboys quarterback. He can pass. He can run. we got Keenan Allen, five-time Pro Bowl receiver. Very underrated player. we got Lawrence Taylor, the GOAT defensive player. we got Jerry Rice, the GOAT receiver. Terrell Davis, one of eight running backs to rush for 2,000 yards. A uh, load of dice, full-size helmets. We've pulled the Marvin Harrison. 
Uh, and we have all of the other six guys to go. 11 crates left. Six out of 11 chance to get one of those headliners. That is better than 50%. All crates are in the ticker. All of them are on the ticker. So let's get it, ladies and gents. Let's get it. Uh, as for the break page... We are four away on the unloaded dice baseball series, three away on the minis, six away on the Kansas Comet jerseys, wide open on the beater box, wide open on the next load of dice in America's team. Uh, so let's get it. Let's hop into the extra special minis next. Three spots away. Uh, that is our closest break. Uh, while we do that, I'm going to clear up... Uh, my helmets here so I don't get stuck. Take some of these helmets away. So I have room to break boxes. I'm gonna zoom our center cam in just a little bit also. So you guys can get a good feel for those authentics. A little, a little slight zoomer. Who wants to do some breaks, guys? Who wants to fill up some breaks? I uh, will definitely do the minis, the baseballs, and the jackpot. Uh, those are all breaks we'll definitely do tonight. Don Garrick, Eric Germani, thank you very much for hopping in, guys. Steve Myers, Tyler Auten, Zachary Erickson, Mike Tedesco, Austin Caldwell, Tom Bardo, Larry Rosland, uh, Brian Stowe, Ken Morawski, Jason Amer, Dwayne Robbie, Sean Plazola. All those guys have hopped in during the 7 o'clock hour. You guys are awesome, as is everyone watching and everyone in the chat. Uh, you guys are what make our jobs possible, and you guys are what make this break room a fun place. Thank you very much to all of those folks uh, hopping in into our break room. What's next, guys? What is next as far as breaks? And me, Dom Veluso as well. Did I skip you, Dom? It uh, looks like you had a carryover order from the early show, Dom. But Dom Veluso, you're obviously awesome. Yes, Nick, I can answer that question for you, Nick. Uh, Nick Lester asking, Common, do you know anything about the mystery mini for the Hall of Fame collector level? My code doesn't work for the ones that are up right now. Uh, so I'll check in with our team, Nick, if we can make changes to this. But the reason it doesn't work is because... It's for black box minis. Typically, our black box minis are our double box breaks. Uh, those are uh, really good minis. Uh, we don't have black box minis right now. We have extra special minis that are only Lunars, Authentics, and Flashes. So our mystery box right now does not have one of those minis up uh, because we currently switched it up and went with the wood crate minis. So as soon as we get uh, those black box minis up, uh, it'll work for you, so as soon as we close out the extra special minis, uh, that is when uh, you can get those rocking and rolling. I gotcha wasn't sure. Thanks, man, says Nick. You're welcome, Nick. I hope all is good, Nick. I haven't seen you in a minute. I hope you are doing well, my friend. Nick, the black boxes are at a slightly lower price point. They are not yet available. Yeah. Uh, the black boxes are really good, but... The black boxes contain a lot of standard minis. Uh, our extra special minis right now are all Lunars, all Eclipses, or all Flashes. They're pretty special. And actually, I'll throw them up right now, guys. Uh, we pulled the Deion Sanders. The remaining five headliners are all out there. Uh, that series is only out of 40 boxes. So you can pull the greatest tackle machine ever, Ray Lewis. You can pull former Defensive Player of the Year, former Super Bowl champ, Joe Green, Jalen Ramsey again, uh, Jason Witten, the great Cowboys tight end. Jason Witten on a flash in that series, and then Randy Moss on the Lunar, 
uh, the second greatest receiver of all time behind Jerry Rice. One left in the minis now. So uh, you guys see the minis on the screen. Uh, that is what we will be doing up next. Up next, the minis. We're going to rock and roll with those. Otherwise, I would like to do another loaded dice. I would like to do an unloaded baseball. And I would like to do anything else you guys want to do. A jackpot as well. Uh, and let's utilize Thirsty Thursday, guys. You buy five break spots. The sixth break spot is a free entry into the jerseys. If you select the Kansas Comet jerseys, you don't automatically get it. Uh, that's the way our system is set up. So if you buy five break spots in the same order, it must be in the same cart. The sixth one, you select the Kansas Comet jerseys. It'll be free. Pull on the minis. Thank you very much for the update, Mike. Uh, looks like Don coming in for the close. Don is probably looking for uh, that Mean Joe Green Flash mini. Uh, extra special minis. Number three. Uh, let me know on a box number, uh, gentlemen. Uh, let's see. We've got... Oh, where did I... I just dropped my box numbers. Where did that go? Drop me a box number, guys. Here we go. Here, you, here we go. We've got, let's see, uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. I think we just did 18. I think we just did 18 on the extra special minis. I'll get that off the ticker. Let's see. We did 14 as well. I've got that here. Let me make sure that ticker is updated. So 14 and 18 are not there. No green flash is sexy. I couldn't agree more, Mike. Uh, so is the Jason Witten flash as well. Flashes are all sexy. Uh, Mike, you got a box number if you want one. If you don't want to call it out, that's okay. I'm sure Larry will call one out. Larry's been doing great with the box numbers. Uh, Zachary Erickson, he loves the minis. He's in here, of course. Uh, Tyler Auten, Eric Germani, Don Garrick, also all in here, guys. Extra special minis. Number three, 10. Mike is going with 10. All right. 10 works. 10 is going off the ticker, Mike. I'm going to get you guys randomized for your divisions. Then I'll go get number 10. I like doing the divisions first before I get it so you guys uh, can, you know, see, see where you're at. See what you can possibly win. Uh, get yourself some, some hype going into the break. Get yourself some hype. All right, throw the randomizer up. We're going to go eight times for your divisions, guys. Good luck. Thank you very much for filling up this break. Seven and eight. All right, we got Larry. Larry should have the NFC North. Don should have the AFC West because Larry's up top and Don is at the bottom. That's what we have. Mike, you've got the NFC South. Zachary Erickson, NFC East, uh, could definitely be uh, the... Uh, Jason Witten Mini, Tyler Auten, NFC West. By the way, Larry, you can get the uh, Randy Moss with the North. We got Don in the AFC North. Don Garrick, Steelers fan, could win the Mean Joe Green Flash. We got Mike in the AFC South, Eric in the AFC East, and Don in the AFC West. Okay, Bob, I will definitely check with that. Uh, my my gut feeling is that they can't be. Uh, but I will definitely check with the marketing folks for sure, Bob. Uh, let's go, says Don. He wants that Mean Joe Green. All right. Number 10. Mean Joe Green. Destiny says Don. Mike is saying, let's go Steelers. Larry Rosslin wants the Moss. A lot of good possibilities, guys. Uh, that's what happens when a lot of uh, headliners haven't been pulled yet. A lot of possibilities in the extra special minis. 
Oh, this is good. This is good. Not a headliner, but an excellent hit. This man has made five straight Pro Bowls. He'll come out of the bag. There's a tease for you. Current player, five straight Pro Bowls. Uh, he's a receiver, five 1,000-yard receiving seasons in the NFL. One of the best receivers in the league. One of the most underrated. Here he comes. We got Keenan Allen, uh, the Chargers' great receiver on the Lunar. Uh, fitting, he signs it with the little powdered blue uh, for the Chargers, Keenan Allen. Great Chargers receiver. He's only going to keep getting better now that he has Justin Herbert throwing him the ball. Keenan Allen, not a headliner in this series. Uh, Don Garrick looking for the AFC North hit. Didn't get it, but he did get a win, Don. Closer magic, Keenan Allen, AFC West. Congratulations, Don Garrick. And Don, you know this. You spent $50 on this. Keenan Allen charges more than 50 for his autograph. The mini and the auto worth a lot more than 50 bucks. Congratulations, Don Garrick, on getting memorabilia at a fraction of the cost. How about it, Don? Keenan Allen. Very nice. I like that hit. That's pretty cool. And I love that he signed it in the blue there. Love that blue. Very, very nice. Thank you, says Don. You're welcome, man. Thank you for filling up the break, man. Thank you to all you guys for filling up the break, keeping the fire going in the break room. Where did I put the mini? Here it is. Don Garrick with the dub. All right, I think we're caught up on the break page. Caught up finally. Uh, we still have five left in the Funkos. Three left in the Unloaded Dice Baseball Series. Six left in the Kansas Comet jerseys. Eight away on the reps. Ten away on the Funko Pops. Eight away on Loaded Dice. Number three and eight away on Extra Special Minis. Uh, number four. Uh, so let's get the baseballs done next. And then let's keep rocking and rolling uh, after that. Uh, baseball's done next. And let's see. Those baseballs are pretty good, guys. I can tell you this. Uh, we pulled a Nolan Ryan the other day. Nolan Ryan was not good enough to be a headliner in the baseballs. I think we only have roughly like 15 left. Uh, almost all of them are on the ticker. Uh, so... Uh, let's close out those baseballs next, and let's keep rocking and rolling after that. I would love to do a jackpot break, guys, five spots away, and I would love to do a jersey break, six spots away. Those are breaks uh, we haven't done yet. And obviously, another load of dice break would be cool. Uh, load of dice, full-size helmets. Uh, like I said, guys, 11 crates left. Uh, we've got not six, excuse me, I said six, six headliners left. Marvin Harrison got pulled. We still have Dan Marino, a Mr. 1984 NFL MVP, set the Den touchdown record with 48 touchdown passes. We still have the great Dak Prescott, Keenan Allen, Lawrence Taylor. Then we got Jerry Rice on the authentic. Uh, the GOAT receiver, and then Terrell Davis, one of eight 2,000-yard rushers. So 11 crates left. Six of them include headliners that are photoed. More than 50% chance all of them are on the ticker. Uh, Jason Amer saying, I'd love to do another load of dice, but still eight spots. Uh, so Jason, are you good for one spot if someone else will get a spot? Uh, maybe we can tag team another loaded dice. Is anyone else interested in a loaded dice? I know it's a higher price point, uh, but I would love to see us do one of those. If, you know, someone else wants to do it, let us know in the chat. Maybe we can get eight different folks to do a loaded dice. Uh, Jason's good with one spot. Stephen Hill wants to do another one. Uh, Stephen, are you good with the spot? Uh, if Stephen and Jason both hop in with one spot, 
we'd be down to six spots. Does anyone else want to do one spot in the loaded dice? Uh, anyone else? Two left in the baseballs now. So I'm going to drop that link in the chat for you guys. We'll definitely do the unloaded dice baseballs. Then after that, it's up to you guys. Steven and Jason will do a loaded dice football spot. If you guys can get more folks uh, to hop in, if you guys want to fill that break. Uh, Mike said, I take one. Steven says, yeah, if you can get them filled. Uh, so Mike, Steven, and Jason each are going to get a spot. That would leave us five spots away. Uh, does anyone else want to do a loaded dice uh, full-size helmets, triple box break, uh, one authentic, and two replicas. Uh, replica pool we had tonight, Nick Bosa Amp. It was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's definitely close out the unloaded dice baseballs. Uh, that link is in the chat. I'm going to drop the jackpot link as well, guys. The jackpot link, dropping that in the chat as well, because we're five away on the jackpot. And then I'll go ahead and drop the loaded dice full-size helmets uh, since we're talking about it. Here is that in the chat. Uh, Jason, are you interested in Eagles Sproles full-size authentic flash helmets? Steven's got Darren Sproles full-size authentic flash. Steven, you're probably talking to the right guy because Jason Amer loves the Eagles and he loves flash helmets. So you might be talking to the right guy. What other breaks would you guys like to do? Uh, another good one would be the extra special minis. Uh, eight spots away. That break has been fire all day long. Uh, so the minis, the loaded dice, the jackpot, and the baseballs are four breaks I would love to see get done. Uh, but it's up to you guys. Oh, wait, my bad. It's a replica, said Steven. Sure, Steven, what are you looking for, it says Jason Amer. Uh, Steven is a Washington football team fan or Washington commander fan. I don't know whether, whether to say Redskins, Washington football team, commanders. I guess I'll call them the commanders because that's what they are now. So, Jason, if you've got Washington stuff, that's what Steven wants. Uh, we did knock off a spot on the jackpot. Good, 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 good. Four away on the jackpot. Pretty confident we can get the jackpot and the baseball breaks filled. Beyond that, it's up to you guys. I'm trying to get used to them calling. I'm trying to... I'm trying to get used to them being called the Commanders, uh, says Steven. I agree. It's weird. Uh, but I'm personally okay with that name. I'm okay with the Commanders' nickname. It uh, doesn't bother me. It could be worse. I'd rather they be called the Commanders than the Washington football team. Uh, but that's just my two cents. I'm also getting used to the Guardians right now, too, says Mike. Uh, Cleveland Guardians in baseball. Uh, Jason Amer, what's going on with the Sixers, dude? 84-68, 87-68 now, Miami Heat. Uh, looks like the Sixers are going home. And I don't think they should offer James Harden a max extension. I think James Harden is done being an elite player. And Joel Embiid, by the way, 7 of 23. So injuries are finally catching up to the great Embiid. Uh, Philly looks like... They're toast. And beat is 7 for 23 from the field. Yeah, Mike, he is. Uh, Steven likes the football team. It's all right. I mean, I like it. I just want him to be something. Uh, but obviously, Washington football team doesn't sound bad. Doesn't sound bad. All right, we're getting some movement on the jackpot, guys. I got a lot of orders coming into the jackpot. We were just... Five away, we're now three away on the jackpot. Uh, three away on the jackpot, two away on the baseballs. Mike says, Embiid was all butt hurt. He didn't get MVP this year. He said, what else do I have to do? 
Sorry, bud, but you have to be Jokic. Difference between Embiid and Jokic is Jokic passes like a point guard. Embiid does not. All right. What's coming next, guys? What break is coming next? I'm interested to see what happens in that Suns Mavericks game. Uh, because this uh, Heat, Heat Sixers series, uh, the home team had won every game in the series. Miami looking for the first road win in that series. Uh, Phoenix and Dallas, the home team has also won every game so far. Luka Magic, indeed. Uh, Jason, what's your email? And we can talk inventory, says Steven. So you guys are more than welcome to exchange emails. Uh, Steven, this is a great break room for trades. Uh, Jason Amer is a really good guy. I could personally vouch for Jason Amer. He will definitely uh, be fair to you, and you guys will get a good trade going there. All right, guys. Baseballs and jackpot. Uh, those are coming up next. Uh, the jackpot is a pretty new series in the room. Uh, we've done only a handful of boxes in the jackpot. I did pull that Emmett Smith football, but I believe every other headliner is out there in the jackpot. Uh, we got an Ezekiel Elliott Eclipse helmet that says, Feed Me. Uh, we got Lawrence Taylor on the Lunar. We got a Russell Wilson Cleat, the great quarterback. Uh, now went from Seattle, now a Bronco. We got Allen Iverson, the answer on the Funko. Uh, we got Mike Ditka. Uh, I believe he's flipping off his middle finger uh, in that one. Can't really see it as well, but I think that's what's going down there. And we have uh, the GOAT receiver, Jerry Rice, on a fancy red football. We got Ryan Sandberg, great Cubs second baseman. We got Gary Sheffield, one of the most feared hitters of all time. And we got Nikita Kucherov on that puck. Uh, jackpot number two. Uh, last jackpot series we did was great. And as it says here, six of these wooden crate mystery boxes will contain multiple autographed items. Could be three, could be four, could be six. And one of them contains 12, I believe. So uh, let's do the jackpot tonight, guys. Definitely want to do a jackpot. Three away there. Uh, we do have a jackpot personal if Bo is out there. Uh, that's right. We do have a jackpot personal. Thank you very much, uh, Mike, for reminding me. Uh, so, Bo, uh, Bo got himself a personal into the jackpot. Uh, Bo, if you're watching, we are happy to uh, rip that live on the air for you. Uh, otherwise, we'll send it to your house. Uh, jackpot is a top spot break, uh, Don. Uh, jackpot is 10 items in there. It is a top spot break. Uh, so it's 10 slots to fill it up. Uh, and the top spot will randomize eight times. Whoever's at the top after eight randomizations, which is a dice roll, will win the item. The reason it's a, it's a top spot break is because it is a multi-sport break. It has baseball in it it's got hockey it's got basketball it's got football so we can't do a divisional break for the jackpot uh we're gonna go we're gonna take the 10 names in the jackpot we'll randomize them eight times after the eighth click the top spot is taken home uh the memorabilia could be one piece of memorabilia could be six could be 12. uh there's six of those 50 boxes contain multiple pieces of memorabilia all right, one away now on the jackpot. So we'll definitely get uh, the jackpot done. Uh, that will be coming up. Coming up on the jackpot. Otherwise, guys, get your spots in now. Get your spots uh, for some breaks. We'll do the jackpot for sure. We'll do the baseballs for sure. Two spots away there. And all the other breaks are pretty open in the chat. We got several folks wanting to do loaded dice again. Uh, however, they've said that they'll do it only if we can fill it up. So if you guys want to get your spots in, uh, that would encourage others to fill it. Any San Francisco Giants stuff I'm interested in, says Steven. Uh, Steven, I guarantee you we have Giants in the unloaded baseballs. I don't know 
exactly which Giants we have, but we've had Giants hits in the unloaded baseball series. So definitely uh, hop in to that if you want to get some baseball items. Also, Steven, if you want a break that will close, the unloaded baseballs has two spots away. Uh, we'll do that one tonight for sure. So definitely hop in there. There's a Randy Johnson baseball in that series that we have not pulled. Uh, not a headliner, but definitely want to see Randy Johnson. All right, closed on the jackpot, and I think we're one away on the baseballs. So thank you very much, guys, for closing out the jackpot. Uh, that is coming up next. Jackpot is next. Mike is finalizing that list. If you are in that break, uh, drop me a box number. Drop me a box number. We've got, let's see, jackpot. Uh, we've got two, three, six, nine, ten, and eleven on the jackpot. Two, three, six, nine, ten, and eleven available. Let me know. All right, I think we're closed on the baseballs too, or maybe one away. But we'll have that break coming up as well. All right, Jackpot is ready. Thank you very much, Mike. We got Marcus Adele. We got Sean Plazola. We got Marcus Bennett, Tyler Auten, Mike Tedesco, and Austin Caldwell. Uh, drop me a box number, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to get the randomizer prepped. I will randomize the numbers we have in there. A top number after eight clicks is the one we'll go with. 10 on the jackpot, says Austin. Awesome. Thank you, Austin Caldwell. Again, we've yet to pull a jackpot, guys. We have yet to pull a single jackpot. Austin, how you doing, dude? Austin, I haven't seen you in a minute. Uh, how are you doing, man? Hope all is good with you. Hope all is good. All right. 10 on the jackpot. So this is a top spot break, guys. So I'm going to open up the item first. We'll see what's inside. Then we'll go to the randomizer uh, to see who's taking it home. Box 10 is called out by Mr. Austin Caldwell in the chat. And good, Austin. It's my girlfriend's birthday tomorrow. I'm normally in on Fridays to host the happy hour at 4.30 and produce the 7 o'clock show. I won't be in tomorrow because it's my girlfriend's birthday. We're going to the zoo, so it's going to be fun. I'm doing good. I hope those hanging headliners you want, Austin, are treating you good. Uh, Austin Caldo won some sick hanging headliners. Uh, as for what we got here, I think this is a football. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is a great hit. Uh, this isn't a headliner. It's not a jackpot. But this is the single best signature in the history of sports memorabilia. Whether it's football, whether it's basketball, uh, whether, you know, whatever it is, hockey, soccer, you name it. No athlete has a better signature than this man. Are you guys ready? Brace yourselves. This is almost as if a robot signed it. We got ourselves Curtis Martin, baby. Sixth all-time in career rushing yards. Curtis Martin, one of the best running backs of all time. And the single best autograph that has ever been out there in sports memorabilia. The GOAT signer, Curtis Martin. Look at that autograph. I was on Team Dermonte Dawson, and then I saw Curtis Martin up close, and I fell in love. Look at this autograph. It cannot get any cleaner than Curtis Martin. That dude has some un incredible penmanship. Bob, do you think his mom would recognize him? 
If you would recognize the auto, that is unbelievable. Jets, a legendary running back, as I said, sixth all-time in career rushing yards. Obviously, Pro Football Hall of Famer, uh, one of the best running backs of all time, Curtis Martin. A uh, best signature, again, I cannot say this enough. Uh, I'm in the break room a lot. I pull a lot of items. No one has a better auto than Curtis Martin. We're going to go eight times for this. Yes, and his mom would recognize his signature too, LOL, says Bob. All right. I'd love an authentic Jets helmet with a signature. Love is Sig, says Jason Amer. We had one of those, Jason, in one of our series. It might have been right before you joined us, but uh, we pulled, I think, a Jets flash Curtis Martin. It was insane. Seven clicks on the randomizer. Mike Tedesco was top spot after seven. Eighth and final click. Curtis Martin winner. It's Mike Tedesco. Top after seven. Mike is top after eight as well. You are taking home the greatest signature in the game. Curtis Martin. How about it? Congratulations, Mike. And Mike, you had two spots in there. 44 bucks. Curtis Martin. This football, this signature... This Hall of Famer, sixth all-time in rush yards. Uh, this is worth more than 44 bucks. Congratulations, Mike Tedesco, on your dub. How about it, Mike? Very nice. A flash also? That's like talking dirty to me, Common. If your wife is watching, Jason, I'm sorry for talking dirty to you. But that's, that's what it is, man. That's Curtis Martin. Dirty talk. Hell yeah, Pittsburgh's own, says Mike Tedesco. Uh, he was a third-round pick out of Pittsburgh. A great running back out of Pittsburgh. Mike also, Tony Dorsett also went to Pittsburgh. So And so did Dan Marino. So Pittsburgh pounding out great running backs and great quarterbacks. Pitt Panthers, baby. Curtis Martin. Martin is probably the best of all the most recent players. However, Mickey Mano and Ted Williams autos are even better. Uh, Bob, I actually, I actually looked up Mickey Mano's auto. It's great. I like Curtis Martin better. We did have Ted Williams on a baseball bat. I also like uh, Curtis Martin better than Ted Williams, but that's personal preference. Uh, but uh, those are all great autographs for sure. Mike saying Montana's from my hometown. Okay, Mike, it's awesome. Uh, Montana's also in our jerseys. Uh, Montana is also in the jerseys, our Kansas Comet jerseys. All right, Mike, Curtis Martin is yours. Curtis Martin is yours. Larry Fitz, I forgot, Larry Fitzgerald, Pitt Panther as well. Man, did Larry Fitzgerald, uh, serious question, did Larry Fitzgerald ever drop a pass? Because I'd never seen Larry Fitzgerald drop a pass. That dude was an insane receiver. Larry Fitz. Mark of consistency and a really good dude. Uh, one of my favorite players, Steven. Uh, Joe Montana is my girlfriend's aunt's favorite player. She's obsessed with Joe Montana. We do have a Joe Montana fighting Irish jersey, Mike. Uh, we got Joe Montana in the Kansas Comet jerseys. Uh, that hasn't been pulled. Uh, the baseballs are closed. We got Michael Wilsinska, Steve Myers, Marcus Bennett, Tyler Auten, and Dominic Beluso. Guys, uh, drop me a box number on the baseballs. Best known football player from my hometown is Noshan Moreno, the running back, Bob. I remember him. He was great. All right, what are we thinking on a box number for the baseballs? What are we thinking? We got 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, and 21. What are we thinking on the baseballs? Uh, this is a divisional break. Uh, we have, let's see, six different people in there. All of you guys got a one in six chance of winning. I played against Antron Roll, says 
uh, Dom Beluso. That's awesome, Dom. I like that. Uh, he has more tackles than drop passes, uh, says Steven, about Larry Fitz. I don't know if that's an official stat, but if it is, I definitely believe it. Definitely believe it. Uh, guys, let's get some more spots on the break page. Uh, we're going to be wide open after this uh, baseball break. Uh, let's get some spots and let's do some more breaks. Because we're pretty wide open on the entire break page uh, after this upcoming break. Best known player from my hometown is Tori Holt, says Stephen Hill. That's awesome. Greatest show on turf, Stephen. Uh, that was the first team I loved other than the Bears. I grew up a Bears fan, and I loved Kurt Warner, Marshall Falk, and the greatest show on turf. Tori Holt, Isaac Bruce, Ricky Prohl, those guys were amazing. A big fan of them. I like Peyton Manning and Kurt Warner as far as non-Bears guys. I loved watching grow up. Until next year, Philly cheers, says Dom. Okay. Hey, Dom, you got a box number, Steven? You guys are both in that baseball break. Uh, do you guys have a box number for the baseballs? Box number. 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, and 21. What else do we want to do also, guys? What other breaks do you guys want to do? I don't want this to be the last break of the night. Uh, so you guys in the chat, let me know what other breaks you want to do. Because we're pretty open on the break page. Let me know the breaks you guys want to do. Got sounds coming up from the other computer. Here we go. Mute that bad boy. 10. I see 10 right here. Unloaded baseball number 10. Surprised we haven't done a jersey break tonight. We have Joe Montana, Emmett Smith, Gable Sayers. A lot of big names in the jerseys. Uh, Jason Amer, that is our jerseys. Uh, so if you buy five break spots, but it has to be within the same cart, Jason. So it's not five break spots throughout the night. If you were to buy five break spots right now, like you buy, let's say, two to the unloaded dice, you buy two to loaded dice, and you buy one to the rep break, and then you buy five spots in the same order. Your sixth spot, you select... The Kansas Comet jerseys, you get a free jersey entry. So you must select five other items in the same cart. Uh, and as you're about to select checkout, make the sixth item the Kansas Comet jerseys. So it could be five mini spots. It could be one rep, one mini, two jersey, one replica, whatever. That's how it works. Copy that, merci, says Jason. You got it, man. You got it. All right, we're going to go eight times for the divisions. It's surprising we haven't pulled a jersey. Steven just looked up Fitzgerald, 41 tackles to 29 drops in his career. Or you can buy six Kansas Comet spots and only pay for five. It's a good point, Bob. You can close out the entire break. You can buy five Kansas Comet spots and make the sixth one a free. Which would be great, because then we would fill up the break. Am I in, says Ken. Uh, who is in the Kansas Comet, Mike? Who is all in the Kansas Comet? Mike has that list. Seven. And eight times. All right. Don Veluso should be up top. Tyler Auten should be at the bottom. Uh, Tyler already had a single spot snipe earlier in the show. Uh, Dom, you've got the NL East. Steven, you've got the NL Central. Michael's got the NL West. We got Dom and Michael, two friends going up against each other. We got Steve Myers in the AO East, Marcus Bennett in the AO Central, and Tyler Auten in the AO West. Uh, Ken, do you mean that you're in this break, or do you mean about the jerseys? 
because uh, I don't think you're in this break, Ken. I want to make sure you're not talking about this break before we do it. Yeah, Ken, I don't think you're in this break. You must be talking about the jerseys, I'm guessing. But I'm not sure. Mike will let me know. Just Marcus Adele in Kansas comments. So just Marcus in there. All right, someone's got to join him. Someone's got to join Marcus, guys. Uh, let's definitely fill up a Kansas comment before we go home tonight. I'd like to do a lot more breaks, guys. I, I am not looking to leave. As long as you guys get orders, we'll keep doing breaks. Unfortunately, we're wide open on the break page, so we got to get some orders coming in if you guys want to keep the night going. All right. Baseball 10 here. This is a really, really good hit. Are you kidding me? One of the scariest players ever, quite frankly. Uh, we got Gary Sheffield. Gary Sheffield. Uh, he was a Marlin. I think he was a Yankee, a Brave. I believe this is an NL East hit in Don Belusa. It goes to the team Gary Sheffield played longest on. Uh, but uh, let me see. I believe it's NL East. Let me confirm. I want to say Gary Sheffield played the longest with the Marlins. Let's see, Sheffield played the longest with the Marlins. That is correct. Nine-time All-Star, World Series champ with the 97 Marlins, five-time Silver Slugger Award winner, NL batting champ in 1992, uh, 292 career batting average, member of the 500 Home Run Club, 509 homers, NL East, Dominic Veluso. And, Dom, you are probably a huge fan of uh, that expansion team, the Marlins, and Gary Sheffield uh, taking home the World Series title. 97 Marlins stand up. Dom Veluso. Let's go. Dom loves Sheff. How could you not? Now, I'd argue that behind Barry Bonds, he was the most feared hitter in the late 90s and early 2000s. As a kid, I used to try and bat like him. Uh, Dom Veluso, I was the lefty Dom. I tried to bat like Ken Griffey Jr. It did not go well for me. It definitely did not go well for me. Gary Sheffield Baseball, Dom Veluso, former Marlin, Marlins fan, Dom Veluso. Very nice Dom. Sweetest swing, Ken Griffey. I used to try. It did not work. Dom did some damage. Okay, Dom. You know, Dom, I was all right. I did do some damage as well. I hit some some good shots. I also struck out. But boy, my swing looked pretty. I'll tell you that much. Dom Veluso. Gary Sheffield. Love that hit. Uh, Dom, we also have a Sheffield bat in the jackpot. So this is an example of the baseballs. Uh, Gary Sheffield, not a headliner in this series, but a, a huge name. Uh, smoothest... Swing was Ken, Ken Griffey Jr., the kid. I was telling Liz the other day about his swing. So ironic. It is. It's amazing. Love to get that, says Tom. Yeah, maybe we'll get Griffey on an upcoming series. I would love to get Griffey. Uh, Sheffield, though, is a pretty nice hit. All right, guys. We are caught up on the break page. Uh, we are caught up on the break page. Uh, we have all spots open in all breaks, except for we've knocked off two slots on the jerseys. Uh, so let's get some stuff. What's up with the loaded dice helmets? Uh, how many we got? Uh, we have not knocked off a loaded dice helmet, Steven. Uh, but I can tell you this. The way the breaks work, as soon as people see spots going down, they buy in. So if you hop into the loaded dice, buy a couple spots, I feel like we can fill it up. Uh, Jason, hockey pucks are not done. Uh, we are not breaking hockey pucks at the moment uh, because our break page is pretty full. Uh, but we will uh, bring back the hockey pucks. My best guess is, and don't quote me on this, Jason, but maybe once we close out the baseballs, we might put the hockey pucks back up. Uh, we got about a dozen baseballs left. 
Uh, hockey pucks should be going up uh, right when we get done with that. We definitely have some hockey pucks left, Jason. Uh, we probably have roughly a dozen hockey pucks as well. Uh, we do have a Nikita Kucherov hockey puck in the jackpot as well, Jason. So a lot of good stuff uh, as far as everything. We have basketball, baseball, hockey, football, you name it, we have it. So Steven and Jason, are you guys interested in the loaded dice? You guys said earlier you guys would be happy to get one more spot. Let's do one more loaded dice before we go home. Uh, that is up to you guys, though. Uh, you guys know if you hop into a break, it doesn't fill up tonight. Uh, it would uh, fill up tomorrow at noon or tomorrow at 7 o'clock Central Time. Uh, you guys probably see the scroller on the left. I do want you guys to know uh, that uh, we will be breaking on Saturdays and Sundays now at 12 and 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. So previously, Saturdays and Sundays were at 2 and 8 o'clock. We're moving our shows to 12 and 7 on Saturday and Sunday. So I'll be waking up a little earlier on Sundays from now on. I will be with you breaking every Sunday, 12 and 7. Joe Aguilar breaking every Saturday, 12 and 7. Uh, Jason says, uh, yes, I was just waiting for people to start buying in. Uh, Steven says, I got a spot for sure. So Steven is going to get a spot. I don't see your spot, Steven. Uh, but I do see Ken Morawski. Ken got uh, the next Funko Pop break. He bought out all the spots in the Funkos. So giving himself a higher chance for that wheel spin. Uh, Ken, thank you very much. Let me know what Funko number you would like. Uh, we have just four Funkos left. Four, six, 16, and 17. You can have any one of those, Ken. Uh, so, yeah, definitely get your spots, Steven and Jason. If you guys both get a spot, that will encourage others to get one as well. Fill them up, guys. I just scored an Earl Acker Authentic. Dom says, damn it, I was trying to get in the Funko. Okay. Well, this is the loaded li licensed, or excuse me, loaded dice, full-size helmets. Uh, this is the, the link here, guys. Uh, hop in here. You each get a spot. If we get this down to six spots, uh, five spots, I'm confident we can fill it. Uh, but I think both of you guys want to get in. Neither of you are confident that someone else will hop in. So if you guys each hop in, I think we can fill that up. Uh, Ken, Ken, are you with us, Ken? I know you're with us because you just bought. Uh, Ken, let me know what box number you want in your Funko. Since it's all Ken, you have all the numbers right now. Uh, Ken is saying, Sheffield is Doc Gooden's nephew. An awesome fact. That is an awesome fact, Ken. Uh, do you have a box number while you're with us, Ken? You are in the Funkos. It is all you. It is a guaranteed win. Uh, we just need the box number. Uh, I found out recently that... Uh, Ty Law's uncle was Tony Dorsett. That's another fun fact, guys. I learned that recently. Four, says Ken. All right, four. Nice and low. Uh, that Funko Pop break, by the way, guys, uh, is out of 20, I think it was. Uh, those are the remaining three we have left. We'll do four, and then we'll have three left. forward to closing out the Funkos. All right. So this is all Ken. Oh yeah, he bought the whole thing. He sure did. Ken wants to give himself good odds at a wheel spin, and he definitely wants to buy himself a Funko. All right, four is called out by Ken. All right. 
you guys ever want spots, get them right away. Because you never know uh, when things will be gone. Ooh, this is pretty nice. Uh, we got Coach Bombay of the Mighty Ducks. That is Emilio Estevez. Uh, also appeared in the Breakfast Club. Coach Bombay, the legendary coach of the Mighty Ducks. I got to check out that new show on Disney+. Plus. But definitely enjoyed the Mighty Ducks movies. Uh, that is Ken Morawski. You're taking home Coach Bombay. Very nice. Emilio Estevez. Dang, that's the one I like, says Dom. Pretty good, Dom. It is pretty good. Uh, Ken knows what's up. Quack, 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 says Jason Amer. Uh, Jason Amer's son, doing it big in Quebec. Uh, Jason, you guys get a dub today? Did you guys get a dub? I know your son uh, is doing it big for... Uh, Team USA Youth Hockey in Quebec. My favorite was Charlie's mom, says Dom Bluso. He was great. Coach Bombay. Emilio Estevez. Very nice. Nope, lost to Markham Majors out of Toronto. Well, if it's a Canadian team, you got to figure they're good at hockey. That's what they do in Canada. Uh, big hockey players. I want to see the Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup. Uh, they haven't won since the 60s. That'd be cool. Nice, says Ken. Ken likes it. I like it too, Ken. Emilio Estevez. Coach Bombay. Play another Canadian team tomorrow. Ooh, that sounds tough. Oh, gosh, Dom, I, I don't know, man. Well, why do they? So they can both... Oh, my goodness. Yep, yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. Dom's got the jokes, but that makes sense, man. That definitely makes sense. <laughs> I love it. I don't know if I'm going to repeat the joke, but I love it. That's a good one. That is definitely a good one. All right, guys, what's next? What is next? It is 849. Uh, we'll be here until at least 9 o'clock. Uh, 9 o'clock. Give you guys 10 minutes here, 850 now. If we get within two spots or less in the next 10 minutes, we'll keep ripping boxes. Uh, otherwise, we'll do the wheel spin in 10 minutes. So we'll be on for at least another 15 minutes. Uh, you guys will have 10 more minutes to get in on the wheel spin and at least 15 more minutes to do any other breaks. Uh, but at 9 o'clock, we're going to do the wheel spin unless we're really, really close on a break or we're full on a break. Uh, so this is sort of a soft last call. I'm happy to be here for another hour. We can be here another two hours. We can rip boxes all night long. I'm happy to be here all night long. As long as we get orders, though, guys. We are slow on the orders right now. So give you guys another 10 minutes. And then we'll do the wheel spin. And then we'll see where we're at. Uh, that's Rodney Dangerfield, baby, says Don Beluso. The Leafs are 12 minutes away from moving on. Common's reaction said it all. That's all that had to be done. Uh, by the way, Jason, your Sixers lost, unfortunately. Miami Heat, 99-90. to 90. Uh, The Heat are moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals. 99-90. Only a shame that game is on ESPN today. If we were on TNT, we can watch Gone Fishing. Uh, but no inside the NBA tonight, unfortunately. No inside the NBA tonight. Yeah, I did lose my bet. I'm in the green for the week, though, Sean. Or not Sean, Jason. I mean, the green for the week, I cashed out more money than I put in, and everything that's left in my account right now is just bonus. Uh, five on three for Tampa, says Mike Tedesco. Okay. I actually don't have a bet on the Suns-Mavs game. I'm going to live bet it. As soon as we get off the air, I'm going to live bet it and see what's going on. Green is good. It is good. 
Uh, Alex, I used to use DraftKings and FanDuel. Uh, however, here in the Chicagoland area a few months ago, uh, if you joined a new sports book, you got a lot of promotional free money. So I joined BetMGM. And because I've been on a winning streak since I joined BetMGM, I haven't left. Traditionally been more of a DraftKings guy, currently using BetMGM. Uh, Dom won a Frazier jersey today, some Cowboys mini, uh, and also won Keenan Allen rep, Ricky rep, and now Sheffield. Uh, what does that mean, Dom? Dom, it only means you should hop into the break page. Tampa just tied it 3-3. Three to three. Yeah, I mean, the Lightning are really good. Those guys know how to win the Stanley Cup. It's going to be tough for Toronto. They are tough to beat. Just like the, the Bucks are tough. Talk about heart of a champion. What a comeback by the Milwaukee Bucks last night in the NBA. So, a lot of tough stuff. Leafs are tough, but if my Panthers make it through, I'd rather play them than Vasilevsky and Tampa. Who wants to split the last six spots in the jersey? Let's break one more tonight. So Jason Amer is saying he'll buy three spots in the jerseys if someone else buys three spots as well. Uh, Mike is saying the refs handed them the goal. Okay. Uh, this is the jerseys. This is what Jason wants to do. We have Emmett Smith stat jersey. That's still out there. Uh, Joe Montana on Notre Dame. Excuse me. We got Gail Sayers, the Kansas Comet himself. So we have probably a top five running back of all time in Emmett Smith, the NFL's all-time leading rusher. We have Joe Montana, 4-0 in the Super Bowl. Uh, probably the second, third greatest quarterback of all time. Uh, we got Gail Sayers, who would be a top five running back, if not for injuries. A guy that obviously passed away, a guy that obviously... Not a lot of his memorabilia out there. So Gail Sayers is very valuable because he doesn't sign much. Uh, Joe Montana and Emmett Smith are valuable because they're Joe Montana and Emmett Smith. So very nice. Uh, Jason wants a shot at that Montana. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Uh, let's definitely do a Kansas Comet jersey break. And maybe let's do a loaded dice. A lot of you guys uh, want to do the loaded dice, but... Not any spots getting knocked off on the loaded dice, unfortunately. Oh, we do have an order coming in. All right. Uh, Jason, Tyler Auten just bought three spots, Jason. Tyler bought three spots. If you would like to buy the remaining three, we will rip the Kansas Comet jerseys. Jason Amer, three spots away. I can tell you I'm not lying. Let me put it on the randomizer for you there. Three spots away. Kansas Comet jersey. Three spots to go. Okay, I'll go in and get them now, says Jason. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Larry will take two, Jason, if you want one. I think Jason might want the rest. You guys better battle it out quickly. Whoever gets there first will take them. Or would you take two on the loaded dice, uh, Larry? Is that what you're talking about? Kansas Comet. Let's see. What a hockey game, says Stephen Hill. A lot of drama, sounds like. I think we've done a break of everything tonight, except for the beater box. Nice. Good to see a lot of different stuff in the break room. Oh, Larry got one into the jerseys. So, Jason, you got to get the other two. Uh, Larry did get one. Jason, you got to get the other two, man. I better get them while you still can. Hurricanes are 11 to 1 to win the cup. We win game seven. That's a great bet, says Steven. Hurricanes are dangerous. Uh, that's what one of my buddies has. He's got the Hurricanes winning the cup.
to snag the two, Jason. All you need is two to win. Oh, Jason wanted the three. He wanted the three to go head to head uh, and have better odds. Huh. Well, that's why you got to get him right away. But that's okay, Jason. Uh, whatever works, man. Two spots away. Whoever wants to close it, they'll close it because we will definitely uh, do this break. Two spots away on the jerseys. Here we go. Refresh. One spot on the jerseys. Don Garrick. Don wants to win, says Mike. Don Garrick hopped in one spot away on the jerseys now, guys. One spot away. We'll definitely do that break. If you guys want to do any other breaks, uh, get your spots in now because uh, that might be the last break unless we uh, start seriously moving while we do that break. Get your spots. Let's see, that hockey game is 3-3 in the third period. Toronto leading the series 3-2. Yeah, Jason, he may not have understood what you mean, man. Uh, that sucks, though. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, he may not have understood what, what you meant, though. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, maybe if you want to tag team with someone else, we can do four and four on the minis, Jason, if you're interested. Uh, maybe we do four and four on the minis. 25 bucks a spot. Uh, that would be a good one to split. I mean, loaded dice, four and four on the loaded dice would be cool, but that's obviously a little pricey. But if you and Steven want to split four and four on the loaded dice, that could be cool as well. And Mike is Mike has a point. Mike is saying, don't wait to buy spots. Buy them while they're available. That's true. That is true. Uh, if you ever want to get in on something, uh, get your spots right away because sometimes uh, stuff closes really fast. All right. One more order. Closed on the jerseys. All right. Four spots in loaded dice. I think, Stephen, it's 145 times four. That's what? Like, I want to say a little under six hundred dollars, uh, five hundred something. Uh, Jason saying thanks for the advice, Mike. I like to make sure it closes and I don't wait to the next day. Five eighty says Mike Tedesco. For sure, I'm the same way, Jason. Yeah, it's okay, Jason. It's all right, man. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you, but uh, you know the spots are open for anyone. Uh, it is obviously anyone's taken. I hope it's a great pool, says Steven. A 580, Mike Tedesco. It's 145 times 4. 150 times 4 is 600. You take out 5 bucks, minus 4, 580. 580, if you guys want to split uh, a load of dice, guys. 580. Uh, do you guys have a box number on the comment? Comment number 1. We got Marcus Adele. We got Tyler Auten. We got... Larry Rosland, Don Garrick, and Ken Morawski. Box number, gents, let me know. Kansas Comet, number one. Steven says, anyone down for a half-loaded dice? I'm feeling lucky and tipsy. Okay, Steven. Okay, Steven. 23, Don, thank you very much. 23 is going off the ticker. Comment number one. All right. I'm going to randomize you guys eight times. Uh, by the way, guys, Stephen is willing to buy four spots. Uh, Stephen, I encourage you to buy them now. Then others will be convinced to buy in. And maybe we can do four for Stephen. 
two for someone else and two for another person. Now we can split it that way too. It doesn't have to be four and four. It's up to you guys. Seven and eight. All right. Ten should be up top in the NFC North. Tyler should have the AFC West at the bottom. Uh, we got Ken in the NFC North. We got Don in the NFC South. We got Marcus, NFC East. Marcus could be the, the Emmett Smith. Tyler, NFC West could be the Joe Montana. We got Marcus, AFC North. We got Larry, AFC South. We got Tyler, AFC East. And Tyler, AFC West. Stephen Hill saying, one-on-one -on -one sounds the most fun, though, LOL. That does sound the most fun. Oh, well, let's go. Let's find you a partner, Steven. Let's get you another veteran here who wants to go mano a mano with you. I wish Cody Neff was in here. He would do that with you. Cody Neff would definitely do it. Let's see. 23 on the comments. MJ. All right. Call Cody. Cody's probably on timeout. His wife puts him on timeout every once in a while when he plays too much. You guys have Cody's number. Call him up. Let him know. Let him know. All right, Kansas comment number 23. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow, this is a great hit, also a surprising hit. Uh, we know that him is one of the best tight ends of all time. We got Jason Witten. This isn't Jason Witten on the Cowboys, though. This is Jason Witten on the Raiders. Jason Witten Raiders jersey. It is Raiders country, Jason Witten. He is pretty much in the top five in every tight end category. In fact, he's fourth all time in career catches among any players. Second among tight ends in catches. 20th all time in receiving yards. Second among tight ends. Jason Witten, baby. That is actually the AFC West because it's Jason Witten on a Raiders jersey. It is Tyler Auten. Congratulations on one of the all-time great tight ends, Jason Witten. Very nice. Steven saying, I kind of hope mine stops me soon. <laughs> That's funny, man. I'll be honest, I keep my betting to a secret from my girlfriend. She doesn't know my sports. She does know I bet sports, but she doesn't understand the depths of it. Uh, but anyways, Tyler, congratulations on the Jason Witten jersey. This is beautiful. Uh, every other time I've ever pulled Jason Witten, it's been on the Cowboys. Uh, this is Jason Witten on the Raiders. Pretty cool hit, man. Pretty cool hit. Tyler had... Three spots. Tyler, you know this for sure. Uh, Jason Witten jersey worth more than 75 bucks. Congratulations, Tyler. Tyler Auten. All right, let's see. Uh, we are wide open on the break page again, guys. Great hit. Thank you, says Tyler. All right. I will give you guys four minutes here. Four minutes. You guys will have, an, in reality, about ten minutes because we'll do the wheel spin uh, in four minutes. Uh, otherwise, if you guys want to keep the night going, get your spots. Uh, let's fill up a break or be within two or three spots after the wheel spin. There you go. Mine has seen me win 5K on the Super Bowl, so I got some leash, says Stephen Hill. Uh, Steven, if you don't mind sharing, what was your Super Bowl bet, man? Uh, what what was your Super Bowl bet? Because I won like 50 bucks on the Super Bowl. I don't have a ton of money to bet on it, uh, but I did win some money. I put like, what was it, like 30 on uh, the Rams money line and 20 on the Bengals covering. 
and I won both. Not 5K, though, but I'll take the 50 and be home happy. What else do we want to do, guys? What else would we like to do? Any other breaks you guys want to do? Uh, now is the time. Now is the time. First score being a field goal, something like that. Seven out of the last ten have been. Pretty good bet, man. That is a pretty good bet. Tampa Bay versus Kansas City uh, Super Bowl. Uh, so, Steven, I'm a Chiefs fan. I definitely was not in the green betting on that Super Bowl. Not on the green in that one. Uh, Mike saying I'd buy at least one, if not two loaded dice, but not four, says Mike. So, Steven, if you hop in now and you buy some loaded dice, if you hop in now, and buy four spots in the loaded dice, I'm confident uh, you can encourage the other folks to, to get a few more. If you buy four, Mike will buy two, and then we're home. Then we are home. Home free. That's a start. Who else? I'm drunk now, not tomorrow, says Steven. Steven, get the spots, man. Get the spots, because if you encourage the folks, uh, they will do it. They will do it. Get your spots in now, man. Let's see, I'm putting this Funko up top. Also, if anyone else wants to close out an entire Funko and get it on the wheel spin, uh, now is the time to do it. Drunk now, not tomorrow. I like that. That's funny, man. All right, last call, guys. I'll give you two minutes here. We'll do the wheel spin. I did put that next Funko up. If you guys want to close out an entire Funko and get it on the wheel spin, you can do that. Otherwise, we're going to head to the randomizer uh, and do the wheel spin. Mike, if you buy two right now, I'll buy four, says Steven. Steven wants to see the two right now. He wants it now. All right, come on, guys. Let's get those spots. Let's get those spots. Uh, last call for the Funkos, guys. If you guys want to close out another Funko, now is the time. Uh, otherwise, we'll head to the Chase Wheel Spin. Looks like Tyler and a whole bunch of Ken in here. Uh, so. While we do the wheel spin, you guys can definitely close up another break. Uh, but this is the last chance to get in on the Funkos for the wheel spin. Steven and Mike, what are we thinking, guys? We're going to make this happen? Are we going to do a load of dice? Or are we not going to do another load of dice? If you guys get the spots, I'm happy to do the load of dice. I think right now... Steven doesn't believe Mike that Mike will get two spots, and Mike doesn't believe Steven that Steven will get four spots. So one of you guys has to blink first, otherwise it's not going to happen tonight. Uh, that's up to you guys. The classic, will he do it, won't he? And you guys are both waiting to see if the other person will do it. All right, guys, get those spots now. I am going to get you guys into the chase wheel spin. Uh, so that is what we're going to do next. If you guys want to fill up that load of dice, let's do it. I'm happy to stay here and rip it. Uh, but we got to get those spots. We got to get those spots. Uh, this is the chase wheel spin. A lot of Ken. Got some Tyler in here. My word is everything. I don't want to wait till tomorrow to find out if I won. Okay. Three. We're going to go eight times. Funko Pop. Break for the Chase Wheel Spin. One more click. 
It's Ken first after seven. It is Ken first after eight. Ken Morowski. Ken, you're the top spot chase winner. Uh, let me know what number you want me to start on on the wheel spin, Ken. Who wants to help out Steven? Uh, Steven will do four spots. If the rest of you guys can tag team four spots yourselves. Uh, Jason, if you're watching, you want to get two? Mike will get two, and Steven uh, will take care of the rest. Uh, Jason, you said you were down, says Steven. Yeah, I don't know if Jason's down for four, but he might be down for one or two. Larry might be down for one. Uh, let Steven know, guys, because we're doing the wheel spin. 21. Ken wants me to start on 21. All right, Ken. Guys, I'm happy to break that load of dice, but we got to get moving on it. We got to get moving now. Twenty-one. Here we go. Big money. Good. Well, it kept going, but it's still better than average. Sixty dollar UA gift card. 60 bucks, Ken. Mike will get that in your account. Congratulations, Ken. 60 bucks. 60 bucks. Ken. Been issued. Mike issued that money to you right now, Ken. Uh, check your account. Very nice. All right. We are caught up on the break page. We are wide open. Ken says, love it. How could you not, Ken? Congratulations, Ken spent uh, his money on that Coach Bombay. Bought out the entire break. He won the memorabilia, won the wheel spin, uh, made up his money. Wide open on the loaded dice. All right, guys, I'm hearing a lot of Talk on the loaded dice. I will give you guys three minutes. You know, I'll give you five minutes. 9.20. We will sign off the air at 9.20. We've done the wheel spin. You guys have five minutes to close up the loaded dice. I want to give you guys an opportunity to do it. Uh, however, at the moment, we are unfortunately all talk. And no bark on the loaded dice football helmets. So five minutes. We can close up the loaded dice in the next five minutes. I will rip it for you guys. Otherwise, we'll go 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 home after that. We do have we do have a personal, so you guys will have a little time. Uh, Austin Caldwell bought a jackpot personal. Uh, Austin, let me know what number you want on your jackpot personal. If we haven't knocked off any spots while we do the jackpot, uh, we will sign off. Steven wants the Merino. Steven, if you're feeling really lucky, uh, you could buy out the entire break, but I don't know how lucky you feel. All right. Uh, Austin, what do you want on that jackpot personal, man? Uh, what would you like on the jackpot personal? Chris Roberts, what's up, man? Chris, how you doing, dude? Well, I have to see Chris Roberts in the break room tonight. 11, says Austin. All right, 11 on the jackpot personal, guys. Uh, if we're not really close on the loaded dice, uh, let's go in. Steven saying I'd buy Marino straight up at that point. That's a good point, Steven. That's up to you, man. You guys got to get those spots, though. Steven, if you bought the four spots now, dude, I'm confident others will buy in. Uh, but I definitely feel like people don't think 
it's going to happen. Like, they just don't think that's going to happen. Hey, Bob, how did Bryce Har Harper hit a homer if he's injured? Says Mike. I don't know. Steven, you like, or not Steven, Chris, you like this jersey fold? Look at this jersey fold, Chris Roberts. Look at Jason Witten. That's your cowboy legend, but he's on a Raiders jersey. I do need good company, Chris Roberts. That's why I need you here, man. You are a good company. All right. Let's do that loaded dice, guys. Steven's a man of his word. If you guys get two spots, Steven will get four. And then we'll do it tonight. I've mastered it. Practice makes perfect, Chris. You've been gone too long. Practice makes perfect. Seriously, just two spots, says Steven. He wants those two spots. Uh, let me write up this Jason Witten, actually. Forgot to do that. Actually, I did. I have it. All right, Jackpot Personal number 11. Austin Caldwell, thank you very much. Jackpot Personal. All right. Austin is the man of the Percy's. Number 11, Austin Caldwell. Guys, I want to give you every chance for that loaded dice, uh, but we have not knocked off any slots on the loaded dice. So if we don't have any slots knocked off uh, while we finish this, this personal, uh, we're not going to do the loaded dice tonight, unfortunately. So get your spots now, guys. Otherwise, no loaded dice. It's not going to happen, says Steven. I don't know, Steven. If you buy the four, I think it'll happen. But we'll see. Oh, my God. Austin Caldwell, congratulations. You have hit on a jackpot. Jackpot. Austin! Jackpot! Austin, you got a boatload of minis, man. One mini. Two mini. Three mini. Four mini. Five minis. Austin Caldwell, man of the minis! Alright, Austin. Uh, let's see what five minis... You have won on your jackpot. Holy moly. All right, we'll start with this one up front. We'll start with this one. Jackpot. All right, this is a good start. Uh, we got Michael Vick on the Lunar Mini. Michael Vick, the most rush yards ever by a quarterback. Most yards per carry in NFL history. A former NFL Comeback Player of the Year, multi-time Pro Bowler, Michael Vick, a star at Virginia Tech, a star with the Falcons, and a star with the Eagles. Michael Vick. All right, Austin. This is a good example of the jackpot. So, personal for Austin Caldwell. Got himself a jackpot. First of five minis, Austin. First of five. Michael Vick, jackpot. All right, next mini. You got five of them, Austin. Next mini. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is pretty good. We got Trayvon Diggs, the NFL leader in interceptions this last season. Led the league in interceptions, Trayvon Diggs on the Eclipse Mini. Austin, gotta love a jackpot. Uh, two hits, Trayvon Diggs. Uh, they actually would both be NFC East hits. Austin killing it big. A lot of Cowboy fans in the break room are jealous. Uh, Steven, there's 50 boxes. 
Six out of 50 container jackpot. Six out of 50. If the next one's a giant, I see where it's going, LOL says Don. So, six out of 50 chance to hit a jackpot. This is the first jackpot. We've done about 10 boxes. So, there's about five jackpots in the remaining 40 boxes, give or take. So, about a one in eight chance for a jackpot going forward. About a one in eight chance. Trayvon Diggs. All right. Next mini. Next mini. Dom, you down for a loaded dice tonight, says Steven. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is funny. The GOAT defensive player of all time. Three time defensive player of the year. Tied for the most ever. A one of three non offensive players to win the league MVP. The scariest player ever. The greatest defensive player ever, Lawrence Taylor. That would ironically also be an NFC East hit. Austin Caldwell got himself Lawrence Taylor Mini. Very nice. Congratulations, Austin. Adam wants that Marino as well, by the way, Stephen Hill. So, man, this jackpot is awesome. This jackpot is something else. Lawrence Taylor, Trayvon Diggs, Michael Vick, Austin, you are in on fire. NFC East jackpot. That's right. All right. One more to go, or two more to go, excuse me. Two more to go. Here comes the Theisman, says Chris Roberts. They've got a little college mini. We got Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen. Is a great charger, made five straight Pro Bowls, five 1,000-yard receiving seasons. Before that, he was a star at Cal. We got Keenan Allen on the Cal Mini. So that's pretty good. Keenan Allen, Austin, uh, breaking up the NFC East jackpot. Got yourself a little Keenan Allen action. Man, Austin, this is a good jackpot, dude. You must be glad you got that personal. Because you are definitely making up your money. Jackpot, Keenan Allen. All right, one more mini. One more mini here. Uno Mas. What do we have on the last one? Ooh. So you got yourself five minis, but you actually get seven signatures, Austin. Oh, we got an Oklahoma. Triple signed mini. It is the Oklahoma Heisman. Uh, let's see. We got Billy Sims, a Heisman in 78, the great running back. Uh, we've got Steve Owens, a Heisman in 69, inscribed 69 Heisman, Steve Owens. Get the card. I think the other one is Jason White. It is Jason White. Uh, so Jason White was the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback in 2003. For Oklahoma. So triple signed Oklahoma mini. Billy Sims, the great running back for the Lions in Oklahoma. Uh, you got yourself another Oklahoma running back as well in Steve Owens. And then you get yourself the GOAT defensive player, Lawrence Taylor. You get yourself the best running quarterback of all time, Michael Vick. NFL's interception leader, Trayvon Diggs. And Pro Bowl receiver Keenan Allen. Auto correct. I meant to type Heisman, not Theisman. I like it, Chris Roberts. A uh, fun story about Joe Theisman. His name was actually pronounced Joe Theisman. But Notre Dame's PR guy, or was it a sportscaster? Someone with Notre Dame said he, sh he should change his name to Theisman so it can be Theisman going for the Heisman. So his name is actually pronounced Thiesman, but he made the change at Notre Dame and it became Heisman for that reason exactly. So it's a little fun fact about uh, Joe Theisman. All right, guys. Does not look like uh, the loaded dice will happen. We haven't knocked off any spots. Uh, I'll give you three minutes. If we close out the loaded dice in the next three minutes, we'll make it happen. 
Otherwise, we're signing off for the night at 9.30. If there's anything else you guys want to get in on, let me know if there's any other personals you guys want. Uh, now is the time. Uh, but before we go, I should ask, what is your favorite hit tonight, guys? What is the best thing you've seen in the break room? Uh, personally, I did love that Nick Bosa amp helmet. Uh, Nick Bosa amp, I think it's over there. Uh, but my favorite pick uh, was uh, probably this jackpot, because you won five things in the jackpot. Uh, what was your favorite thing that you guys saw tonight in the break room? Favorite thing in the break room? Uh, we had a Brian Erlacher Authentic. Uh, we had a Nick Bosa Amp Replica Helmet and Loaded Dice. Uh, the Jason Witten Jersey was cool. Uh, this jackpot school, let me know. I'm trying to buy five right now, but can't get the sixth comment for free. Uh, Steven, you got to select the sixth one. You just select it. You don't buy it. Uh, if for some reason, Steven, it doesn't work for you, uh, we will probably send you uh, some sort of refund if it's not working. Our customer service team uh, will take care of you, man. Customer service will take care of you. Uh, get your spot now, Steven. Uh, two minutes, man. If you don't get that spot in the next two minutes, uh, we won't be able to do that tonight. If you do knock down the loaded dice to three spots, I'll stay on a little longer and give you a chance to fill it. Uh, give you a chance. Not giving you the option. Weird. Weird. Let me let me let me head to our break page here. It should give you the option. I'm not sure, man. It's possible there's a glitch on the website, uh, but it should give it to you. Our customer service team will take care of you, man. Uh, if for some reason it's not working, uh, we'll take care of you and get you uh, that refund. Uh, but you must select the five. When I go to it, it charges me for it. It might take it off. But I will see the order on this end, Steven. If you make that order, man, and the jersey spot doesn't come in for free, we will refund you for the jersey spot. Uh, we will refund you the jersey spot if it says that you have to pay it. Uh, sometimes it tells you you have to pay, and then at checkout it minuses it for you. Uh, so uh, you will definitely get refunded if it doesn't work, Steven. Uh, you will definitely get refunded if it doesn't work. And I will check in with our marketing and customer service team and see what's up. Uh, but you got to get your order now, man. Uh, you got to get your order now. We've given you guys more than 30 minutes on this load of dice. Uh, we did do a jackpot in between. Uh, but if that order doesn't come in in the next minute, uh, that's going to be it for the show. Uh, going to be it. I want to help you out, Steven. I really do, man. I want to help you out. But if you don't get that in in the next minute, uh, we will definitely move on. As Mike is telling us, it's been a while since our last non-personal order. I'm trying to help you out, Steven. I want to help you out. Uh, but if I don't see the order here in the next minute, uh, we will unfortunately sign off, dude. Uh, doing the best I can, man. Trying to help you out. I know you're a new customer. I want you to feel welcome in the break room. But we need to see the order. You got to see the order. All right, we did see the order. Stephen Hill. Okay. I do see your order, Stephen. All right, so here's what I'll do, Stephen. I will send our customer team a note. I'm going to refund you on that Kansas Comet right now, dude. I will refund you on the Kansas Comet. Uh, thank you very much, Stephen, for that order. A personal order, Mike, uh, is if you go into the mystery box tab on our site uh, and you buy a break. 
So refunding you now, Stephen. You've been refunded. I will show you guys the live break page. Uh, this is the way this works. So if you, you click into Ultimate Autographs, Mike, you head, you head to the live break page. Um, and you hit the UA Live Breaks. This is where you buy the breaks. You buy your spots and you get yourself a chance to win memorabilia for a fraction of the cost. However, if you want, uh, you will, you can hop into the mystery box tab. So for $184.99, Mike, you can buy a mystery box into the extra special minis. You can call out any box number and you will definitely get a win. So it'll be a matter of what do you win? So the mystery boxes is if you want to buy something outright. So $159.99, a personal into the jerseys, $209.99 into the jackpot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that is where you buy your spots. Uh, you can get yourself a guaranteed win. Uh, obviously, at that point, you're paying full price, uh, but it is definitely a good option. Definitely a good option if you want to get a guaranteed win. If you don't want to gamble, if you don't want to say, you know, I want to win this helmet for 40 bucks. Instead of 300 bucks, uh, that is where you straight up buy something. But it's still a mystery. It could still be any box. You would call out the box, and we would do it for you. The beauty about that, though, is that uh, you get any box number you want, even if it's in the back. So uh, that's the lowdown on that. Tomorrow, I'll be mad I did this. Come on, guys, says Steven. All right, let me do a little refresher. So Steven did his part. Steven hopped into the load of dice. I'll give you guys four minutes. Four minutes to close out the load of dice. I've been more than patient with you guys. I'm a very, very patient person. Uh, Steven was a man of his word. I'll give you guys four minutes. If we can close this out, in the next four minutes, we'll break it tonight. Otherwise, it's carrying over to tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys four minutes here. Steven's a man of his word. Uh, Mike said he'll buy two. Jason, if he's still watching, said he'll buy one. We can make this happen, uh, but let's make it happen in the next few minutes, guys. Let's make it happen in the next few minutes. Loaded dice, full-size helmets, four spots away. Who wants to gamble with Steven? Come on, guys. Who wants to do it? Jackpot was sick. The jackpot was sick. Mike, where are you at? Let's go, says Steven. All right, guys, three minutes left. Three minutes. Three minutes. Who wants to do the jackpot? Uh, Billy Sims won one Heisman. He was second place in another Heisman voting. All right, guys. We are going to sign off here if we don't close out that loaded dice. Larry just got a spot. Larry got a spot. Three spots away on the loaded dice. Let's close it up in the next three minutes, guys. Loaded dice, full-size helmets, three away. Larry's the man. He is the man. I want to say, it wasn't it Herschel Walker, Stephen? I think Herschel Walker won two Heismans, I thought. Might have been Herschel Walker. Let me look that up.
Let me message Cody. Give me a minute, LOL. He's going to message Cody Neff. That's funny. Uh, Herschel Walker won one Heisman trophy. It wasn't Herschel Walker. Running back that won two Heismans. One second. Running back that won two Heismans. Archie Griffin. Archie Griffin won in 74 and 75 for Ohio State. A uh, good call, Tyler. All right, guys. Are we going to make this happen or are we not going to make it happen? Three spots away, guys. Three spots away. Who is going to make it happen? Cody's out. All right, Cody is out. Mike got two. Let me see. Maybe it takes a second to get refreshed. Come on. We are super close. Let me see. I'm not seeing it on my end yet. Uh, but it takes a second sometimes. All right, here we go. We do have an order coming in. Mike's a man of his word. Uh, Mike did get two spots on the loaded dice. Uh, so we'll do it. One away, guys. One away on the loaded dice. One spot away. We will get that done tonight. Dom just asked Aimer to tell him we're one spot away. Give him the update, Dom. One spot away. Better do it quick, because it'll fill up. Uh, what box or crate number would you guys like? If you're on that break, drop me a crate number. Drop me a crate number. Two, says Steven. Break two. We do have that in the room. All right, I'll get two set up. We'll do two coming up. We are on the air, Jason. We are on the air. Good stuff, guys. Thank you very much. Woo! That was an adventure. All right. Jason Amer is the man. Break two. Break two. The authentic is in box one. Oh, we got a couple reps here. A couple reps to start. All right, good stuff, guys. Thank you very much. See, Steven, I told you, man, you get that four spots, uh, someone else will help you. Uh, someone else will help you. Could have done that earlier in the night, but that's okay. We were patient. We made it happen. Six, seven, and eight times. Here we go. Stephen Hill, you should have the AFC West. Mike, you should have the NFC North. Taking the randomizer down. Uh, we got Mike in the NFC North. We got Larry in the AFC South. We got Steven in the NFC East. We got Mike in the NFC West. We got Steven in the AFC North, AFC South. We got Jason Amer in the AFC East. Steven in the AFC West. Oh my God, Jason. Come on, Dan, says Don Beluso. All right, we'll see. We shall see.
Well, let's see what we got here. First two will be replicas, guys. First two will be replicas. Woohoo! Jason, Jason, Jason. You're going to be happy you bought that last spot, Jason. You got yourself your favorite type of helmet. How about a flash? How about Andre Reed? Hall of Fame 2014. Seven time Pro Bowler. 87 career touchdown catches. 14th all time. More than 13,000 career receiving yards. Also in the top 20. A uh, lost in the Super Bowl four years in a row, but it wasn't his fault. One of the all time great receivers, Andre Reed on the replica flash jason amer congratulations jason andre reed the replica it's a flash it's a beaut it's a nice signature number 83 hall of fame 2014 andre reed all right jason very nice closer magic for jason amer Beautiful, beautiful looking flash helmet. Andre Reed. All right. Uh, Jason, are you watching? Dom, let him know now. Shoot him a text right now. Tell him he won a flash helmet. Andre Reed. Congratulations, Jason. How likely would there be two AFC Easts? Not impossible, Dom. Not impossible, man. In the words of Kevin Garnett, anything is possible! Jason Amer. All right. Second rep. He's watching that Mandingo. Okay. This is the rep, yeah. This is the rep as well. Fitting that Jason wins a flash. That is fitting. Loves his flashes. Come on now. All right, here we go. You're welcome. I don't even know what I just said, but you're welcome, Dom. All right, here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo! How about another flash helmet? Another all-time great receiver. We got Heinz Ward on the flash. Steelers legend Heinz Ward. That is JSA certified, former Super Bowl champion Heinz Ward. That is the AFC North. That is Stephen Hill. So Stephen spent all that money. He does get a dub. Uh, Two-time Super Bowl champ, Heinz Ward. 14th all-time with exactly 1,000 career catches. Tied for 16th all-time. 85 receiving touchdowns. Heinz Ward. Mike saying, damn, I would have loved that one. Very, very nice. Heinz Ward on the flash. Steven, you do get a win, man. So all that money is spent on, at least for, for now, one dub for sure. Somewhere out there, Don Garrick is saying, damn it. Don Garrick is a huge Steelers fan. Congratulations, Stephen Hill, on your Heinz Ward flash. A former Georgia Bulldog, Heinz Ward. Roethlisberger to Ward, touchdown Steelers, Super Bowl champion Steelers. Even Hill. Same here, Dom. That I am, says Don Garrick. He's watching. A lot of folks want to see what's coming out of uh, these boxes. Heinz Ward. Congratulations, Mr. Hill. One more to go. It's going to be the authentic. The authentic is coming up next. 
Uh, let's see. Who's got the AFC East? Jason Amer has the AFC East. A lot of people looking for that Dan Marino. I'll tell you, Mike, you've got the NFC West. The Jerry Rice wouldn't be too bad either. Jerry Rice would not be too bad. Uh, Steven in the NFC East. Dak Prescott would be good as well. All right. The moment of truth. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The headliners, the best hits, are the authentics. We are saving the authentic for last. Could this be Dan Marino? Let's see. Definitely an authentic. It's heavy. It's a heavy one. Here we go. Ooh, this is pretty nice. We got ourselves five-time Pro Bowl receiver, five 1,000-yard receiving seasons, one of the most underrated players in the game, Keenan Allen on the authentic. Keenan Allen, Chargers great receiver, beautiful lunar authentic. Uh, that is the AFC West, most underrated modern-day player, Stephen Hill, you're taking home, Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen is a headliner in this series. Man, you guys love Keenan Allen. How could you not? He's a good player. Keenan Allen is in a lot of series. He is definitely a pretty good player. Uh, that means we have five crates left. We still have Jerry Rice, Dan Marino, Lawrence Taylor, Dak Prescott, and Terrell Davis. So 50% chance at hitting one of those all-time greats. Uh, Stephen Hill, you do get two dubs. You get the Keenan Allen Authentic, as well as the Heinz Ward Rep Helmet. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, guys, for filling up that break. Thank you very much. Loaded dice, full-size helmets. Congratulations, Stephen and Jason, for being winners. Uh, congratulations to everyone else. I think that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, no orders coming in since we did this. Uh, give you guys... That sticker looks wonky. It's a warning sticker. Uh, you get these warning stickers because it's an authentic. Uh, but it is nice. Uh, he's wearing Cubs pajamas at home. No, he's wearing White Sox pajamas, Stephen. Or excuse me, Chris Roberts. I keep thinking you're Stephen. Uh, that's funny. All right, guys, last call. I'll give you guys two minutes. If there's any other breaks you guys want to do in the next two minutes, let me know. Uh, otherwise, that'll be the show. Is there any other breaks you guys would like to do? Let me know. Uh, let me know. Uh, otherwise, what's been everyone's favorite hit? Uh, my favorite hit was the jackpot. Austin Caldwell won a Lawrence Taylor mini, Michael Vick mini, uh, Oklahoma triple signed Trayvon Diggs and Keenan Allen. Uh, what was everyone's favorite hit? I'll give you guys one more minute. Is there anything else you guys want to do? Otherwise, we are signing off for the night. If there's any other breaks you guys want to do, let me know now. Brian Erlacher, of course, says Stephen. Favorite hit of the night. You know what? I, I might change my mind. I'm a huge Bears fan. I might go with Brian Erlacher as well, Stephen. Might go with Brian Erlacher as well. I know Jason Amer likes the Andre Reed. I know Don Veluso likes the Gary Sheffield. I want to give a thanks to everyone who bought in on the breaks tonight. What a monster show. A lot of fun. We are back tomorrow at 12 Central Time, 4.30 and 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. As a reminder, on the weekends, we are now on from 12 o'clock and then 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. We're no longer on at 2 and 8. Weekend shows are now 12 and 7. I'll be off tomorrow celebrating my girlfriend's birthday. I'll see you guys back here on Sunday at 12 o'clock. I'll be breaking uh, Sunday at 12 and 7. 
Uh, we'll have James in here tomorrow night, breaking at 7. Joe Aguilar, Saturday night. Uh, Don Garrick likes the Keenan Allen Mini. It's his favorite. And Stephen Hill says, worth the 580 for Allen and Ward. Absolutely. Chris Roberts saying, happy birthday, Allie. That is my uh, girlfriend's birthday, officially. Going to be her birthday in about two hours here at midnight. So... I will see you guys Sunday at noon, Sunday at 7. Uh, I'm sure you guys will be back tomorrow, though, uh, 12 o'clock, 4.30 and 7, Monday through Friday, and then uh, Saturday and Sunday at 12 and 7. See you guys tomorrow. I'll see you Sunday. Uh, Donnie and James will see you tomorrow. Have a great, great night, everyone. Thanks to Mike for producing. Uh, we'll see you guys 